resting <laughs> on. It sure is. <laughs> <sighs> This week, our heroes talk about the current holiday, what Americans do in movies that confuses the rest of the world, and we answer your questions. All this and more in a very live episode of the CC Mouse Funcast. Mm, wubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of the CC Mouse Funcast. We are good for your ears. I'm Dan, and as always, you can find me at RFS Dan. And I'm Jess, and you can find me at Go to the Snow Dogs and Snow Dogs Vlogs. Ooh, Jess, it seems like every day. Oh, my little cat situation here. <laughs> He's holding on for dear life. You get off that green screen, sir. Uh, welcome, everybody. It seems like every day now I'm spending hours and hours here, like live. Whew. Man. We got to find something to do. <laughs> yeah, right. Yesterday was like a four hour Dantix plus. Today's going to be a couple hours of hanging out with you. Are you sick of me yet? Tomorrow, yeah. we have to film, we have to record another podcast. Tomorrow, yeah. Holy cow. I feel like we're conjoined yeah. across the country. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how's everybody doing? Happy Easter, happy Passover, happy, Easter. happy Chocolate Bunny Day, whatever you're into. I hope you guys are celebrating it <laughs> with uh, people inside your house or on Skype. There's no reason for you guys not to be able to celebrate the holidays with your loved ones. Everybody's got technology at their fingertips, even my 82-year-old mom. And Shirley Curley out there, if you're listening. Shirley, if you're watching, Shirley Curly. <laughs> you know how many people, you know how many people uh, messaged me and was really stoked that I talked about Shirley Curly? You know, the you Skyrim were saying that mom? the other yeah. day, yeah. Yeah, I was pretty excited about that. I was like, wow, like a lot of people know about this, and as they should. She's charming. She's she's very charming. yeah. I did I did go watch. I did go watch, and and you were right. It is something that it's just so easy to watch, and she is very charming. <laughs> unique. It's very unique. It is very unique. Yes. I can't yes. figure out which way. I was trying to slide over one way or another, but check this out. Pff, I got movie magic. <laughs> I got to slide. <laughs> Don't you love that when you're like looking and you're like, wait, which which mm -hmm. which way do I go? I can slide me over. I can slide me. We can take a trip. I can go to your side. Oh no. <laughs> oh, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Slow it down, Dan. Slow it down. So how you doing, Jess? <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty good. It's Easter. It's crazy. I made lasagna for dinner because apparently that's traditional Easter dinner. Not really, but that was what we had. <laughs> well, let me guess. You made it in the Instapot. I, yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Does it come out in layers and everything? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And it's super easy. It only took me like, what, 35, 40 minutes to make it. That was mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You play basketball, literally just toss the ingredients and... Pretty much. That's right what I there. like about my Instant Pot. I can just mm. throw stuff in there without having to think <laughs> about it and then push a button and then it's done. All right. Hello, everybody in the chat room. Anna Kelly, right off the bat with a $2 super chat. Hello. Thank you. Uh, happy Easter. Where's Memphis? She's right there. I think I see her over your right shoulder sitting back there in the corner with the, with the what's oh, up yeah, face. Oh, yeah. She's right there. What's up? <laughs> it's like, what's up? What is there that? Is. is that a cuddle clone? Yeah. <laughs> That's a little, a little on the... Wait, are you sponsors with them? That not anymore. Oh, little on the taxidermy <laughs> side, but yeah, that was. I still they're all it. of them are sitting back there right now. Actually, can, Shelby's is back there somewhere get, too. Oh, there's Shelby's. Can I get taxidermy? Can Can you make a Dan? I mean, they probably could. Uh, they're sitting out there. Like. I was actually um, working on this room again, and I had them all in the closet, but I was gonna move them over to the other side of the room, and I set them back there. And right before we started, I forgot they were sitting back there. So oh. They're just gonna sit back there. Right, right. Huh, <laughs> interesting. Well, hello, everybody in the chat room. Everybody's giving us well wishes. My mom was down there. Hi, mom. What's up? <laughs> she <laughs> was down there earlier. I'm like, oh, it's mom. Hi, Mama Hatch. Uh, so what, what what's going on in your world for Easter? What do you usually do? Let's talk, let's, let's talk about let's talk about this. Uh, this is the first of like the bigger holidays that are spent inside. What's the buzzword? Is it is it lockdown? Is that insensitive? Is it lockdown? Is it social? Is it stay at home? Uh, a lot of people are calling it quarantine. A lot of people are calling it lockdown. A lot of people are calling it stay at home. So during the current situation, state of affairs state of affairs i don't know i don't know about that i don't know <laughs> so so what do you usually do what do you usually do on easter sunday uh what were we supposed to be doing this year no, or like or, or, yeah, traditionally I mean, no, I mean like what do you like if this was just a normal easter what, what is it is it does it does it vary by year is it pretty much the same stuff well last year we were in toronto for easter for the canadian pet expo and that's wow, where we were supposed to be again this year they held that on Easter? Yeah. Yep. The spring one is held wow. on Easter. So Going last year we were there man. and we were supposed to be there again this year. Um, but 
of course it was canceled. So we usually actually do our traditional Easter the weekend last year and this year was planned to be the weekend after. But yeah, normally we just go out, we go out to my mom's and we have good food and egg wars. We didn't get to do egg wars this year. What exactly is egg wars? I've vlogged it before. We're, we all die Easter eggs when we go to my mom's house. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. I mean, now we have now we have younger kids again because John Matthew's young. But even when before any of any of us had kids, like it was, you know, we still did egg wars. We would go out to mom and dad's house and we all die Easter eggs. And then you have to like hit the eggs together and see whose egg is the strongest at the, the end. Heck? Why don't I know about this? We've been friends for a long time. We do it every year. I have it on vlogs. Every year we do egg wars. So you we didn't get to do egg Mash the unborn and then see who's lives. Yeah, yeah. Whose egg is the strongest? So is there like strategies <laughs> to this? Do I need to like over hard boil my eggs? Do I need to empty so, it out and fill it with cement? There is strategy because a lot of times you'll realize when you hard boil eggs that there's an air bubble somewhere within the egg, and normally it's in the sometimes it's in the narrow because like you know how eggs are kind of oval shaped Mm -hmm. there's like a larger end and then a narrower end right sometimes the air bubble is in the narrow end so you don't want to necessarily hit the two narrow ends together because one of them's definitely going to break but i don't know i think my mom's always really good at it my mom and my brother have always been really good at it they seem to have a good strategy for the egg wars i just think it has to do with how pretty your egg is but it's probably not true (laughs) Hmm. something i'm gonna Something I, I I've never heard of. I don't know. I, I you had to have told me this before, but you know I'm a, I'm, like, I'm like a goldfish. Real quick, PJ with the super chat. Hey, uh, PJ and Kim from Sanford, Michigan. Sunday fun day. Yes, it is. Where is uh, Sanford? Is that pretty? Is that pretty far down there? Um, it's not too far from us. I think PJ is about two and a half, three hours away from we, where we are. Oh, right on, right on, right on. Somebody said, do you guys read the chats? Yes, we do read the chats. It's right off here to the side. And no, we don't put it up on the screen because it's on the side of everybody's everybody's stuff also when you right. go back and watch the replays now it keeps up one-to-one with it before it used yep. to not so we we don't do that yeah so i i've not uh i have not done any of these egg wars is this something that's like uh, that gets done online or is this something that you guys invented and who and if so who, who invented that we've been doing it for as long as i can remember so i really don't know i don't know if it's something that my mom used to do as a kid or something like i don't know i just know that it's always something we did on easter we would dye the easter eggs and like last year i remember we did galaxy easter eggs we had a lot of cool eggs last year but we we've always done it i don't know where it originated i would have to ask my mom i don't know if she's still down there watching but maybe she knows the answer (laughs) what came first the egg or the egg war it's like um, the age old question. The egg. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we usually go over like like I mean I don't we don't really have any like traditions. Like growing up growing up I was like an altar boy. Saint shit. Right. So I had to go and like do Easter Sunday service stuff. But as an adult and stuff like that, I uh we would go to Crystal's mom's house and she would hide a lot of money in eggs. And obviously there's a lot of videos of that on RFS Dan of us running around trying to grab eggs. And there's not like twenty five, fifty cents on it. Oh no, it's not two fairy money. It's like fives and tens and twenties and it's right. uh it's crazy. There's kicking and punching. You know, so uh, it looks like uh looks like I'm off to find another way to come up uh, this year because yeah. there's no going there do you guys are you guys a hand person um yeah we usually the usually for easter we would do ham my mom would usually get like a spiral ham and we would do that and that's actually this morning i almost i i fought with myself over whether or not i should go to the store because i'm like why did i not think about this why did i not think about the fact that it was easter like i knew easter was coming i did an easter egg hunt for the dogs and they got their easter egg baskets but why did I not pre-plan this and think about the fact that I should have had ham for us for dinner today? So I fought with myself on whether or not I should go to the store, but I didn't because I had food here. <laughs> if you got a ham, would you just put it in your Instapot? I don't know. Maybe. Man, that's I was a... gonna get a. I wanted a spy. I was gonna go get a spiral ham, but then I'm like, one, I don't really need to go to the store because I have food here. Two, they're probably sold out because it's actually Easter Sunday, so we'll just stay here interesting yeah i don't really don't i don't really think i have t- too many like there's not really traditions other than it's just an excuse to like get together and eat food it's, it feels like a right feels like a different thanksgiving but none right. of that's happening and actually just kind of just doesn't feel like anything not really one of the holidays that like i celebrate per se but i'm not knocking it you know right I excuse for a gathering count me in count me right. in no matter no matter what your beliefs are i don't mind if, if 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 you guys want to celebrate or mourn or whatever, like I I'm in, I'm in I'm in for that stuff. So also, 
Uh, what about Easter candy? Like, do you have a, like a favorite Easter candy? Because Cadbury cream eggs. Is it? Are you okay? Because there are two different people. There's people that like and dislike Cadbury cream eggs. There's people yep. that like and dislike peeps. Let's start with the Cadbury Cadbury cream eggs. I would trade all my candies for the Cadbury cream eggs. You can have my yeah. hollow bunny, which is a lie. They're not, they're not solid. Oh my gosh! <laughs> imagine my surprise when I was young, and I'm like, what is this? You know, what is this? Uh, so I would trade everything for my Cadbury cream eggs. Although I do think they could be a little bit smaller, but the mini eggs are too small. There needs to be like a little in, in between. The, the ratio on the mini eggs is off. Like there's not enough filling for the chocolate ratio on the mini eggs. It just doesn't taste as good. Right, 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 right. So I, I like those. And if you guys saw Dantix yesterday, I showed you guys a pack of those cookies. I remember those. There's there's the cookies that have the, then those have the perfect ratio of Cadbury, what, what, do you, what do you call the inside? There's got to be a name for the inside of the Cadbury cream egg. There's got to be. It's there's got to be a name. Cadbury cream. Man, those things will shoot me through the roof. <laughs> I eat a couple of those things and I'm just bouncing off the wall. Right. Uh, the Reese's peanut butter egg shape eggs eggs are great too because I love Reese's peanut butter cups, and this is just like more. It's like thicker and bigger. And, yeah. And it doesn't have the like because I don't. I'm not a fan of the ridges around the end of them. Like I want it smooth. And so those ones are smooth. So I really like those. I don't like the white chocolate though. Oh, white chocolate's the worst no, of the I chocolate. Don't, I don't like white but chocolate. But I really do like. I really do like those. The the bunnies always. You know, you get the bunny. It's about this big. Those just live in the fridge for years until the ice starts falling off or until it starts yeah. turning to dust. It looks like it looks like Avengers Endgame where it just kind of dusts and crumbles into nothing. And Joel says Ooh, it's pure sugar. Answer. It is pure sugar. It is absolutely pure sugar. Helen with the super chat said, "I was brought up doing." doing it my dad was greek and they do it for the greek easter which is on a couple of weeks after ours probably pertaining to what i'm not sure but a couple comments below that is my mom's answer what is that it says hi great grandma used to have us do it before we ate our easter basket oh, so man. it's a it's a long time family tradition that is that is crazy i don't know why i've just never i it's not on my radar at all. I've never heard of this, and I don't remember you ever you talking about it. Oh wow, well, that's crazy. But yeah, so other than those two candies, like everything else is just weird. There's those like um like milk duds. Like, they have like the ones that are like like the like the mothballs or whatever. They're like the Maltese. Yeah, the are, robin's eggs. Yeah, that are speckled. Not a big fan yeah. of those. Now, what about the Reese's Pieces eggs? I don't know if that is. So, do you like Reese's Pieces? Yeah. So it's like Reese's Pieces, but they're eggs. So they're like kind of like the Robin's eggs. They're shaped like the eggs. So they have that little candy coating, but they have like ten times the amount of middle that, part. I, I'm sure I've had those, but that I, I I don't I don't recall. Another thing that sticks out. Another thing that sticks out. We get Peeps, Bradman. Peeps Br Brand. <laughs> Peeps Bradman. What's that? I'm not a Peeps fan. <laughs> I can't do the Peeps. Can you eat a Peep? Um. The stale peeps they have to be stale they're so vulgar like you have to just rip them and stuff like that and like <laughs> dismantle them and they just get in your mouth and i'm not i'm not a very big peeps fan at all not not oh my gosh it's fast and the furious outside my house right now <laughs> i am not a very big very big peep fan i like the peeps but they but you have to open them and let them sit on the counter until they get hard skistraw said i've never eaten whatever a peep is because i'm from the uk stay there because you don't want to peep. There, there is nothing good about a peep. You can put it in the microwave. Everybody knows how to do that, but not, yep. not, a, not a peep fan. Another thing that sticks out to me during uh, during uh, Easter is the grass, the green grass that they're in the baskets. Right. Yeah, and the cats get it, and then Mooch poops out. Was it Mooch? Was it Mooch that pooped out the green thing? <laughs> it was. Yeah, I Mooch pooped out green grass. I'm like, holy cow! Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Maybe I, I should tried eat one. I try to not keep that stuff in my house because that's always my fear is that somebody that one of the dogs is going to get into it. So I try not to have any of the fake grass in my house. When I do, it's like put in a Ziploc bag and like I take it out and use it for a photo mm. and then I put it all back in the bag and put it away right away because I don't want any of the dogs that, to get that it. That I do remember you doing. That I do remember you not liking the green stuff. I don't know. Mooch got a hold of it one time and it was Easter a few days later. I was impressed. <laughs> I was very, I was very, imp very impressed. Right. I was. Uh, Sarah Richter says, uh, uh, burnt peeps for s'mores. I could see that happening. I put a peep on the stick, put it over the fire, watch it slowly just oh, melt, melt as you put it in between chocolate. Yeah, I could do that. That, that. that would probably be pretty good, especially with if you did it 
where you held it above the fire the right way instead of like in the fire so the the sugar would actually become like uh like a like candied it would like crispify on the outside that okay. that could be good that, that could be good see but like, becky says becky says aren't peeps like marshmallows eh. it's it's yes marshmallows no. that have had experience uh, experiments performed on them i don't know what's yeah. going on with them they're in the mallow family like if they were bugs they would be in the mallow family but what yes. is going on on there is 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 uh, witchcraft. It's definitely <laughs> witchcraft. Uh, Joel the Geek says, "Show them Cadbury cookies, Dan. They're not even mine. Crystal's got them locked away somewhere, so I don't even have access to them. So that I <laughs> that I don't that I don't think I can do. Everybody can't stand the 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 grass in the baskets. Yeah, I, I know what you mean about that. It does. Somebody. It reminds me of um, tinsel for Christmas trees. Somebody I saw. Somebody else just said, said that. that. Yeah, yeah, and it's the same thing. I don't like tinsel." For Christmas trees, for the same reason, I'm just afraid the dogs are going to eat it. Right, and, and back in the day, uh, peeps have stepped up their game. Back in the day, it was just peep. It was just those yellow peeps. There was no funky colors or flavors yep. or anything. We had some. We have some brown ones that are over there that have been there for a few years. We still have those over there. Yeah. Oh my gosh! In a minute, could you fetch those for me, please? Holy cow! And could you just show me? I won't look where you hid them. Could you just show me where you're hiding those Cadbury cookies? Can you show me? Where uh, bon Appetit making... did a video of making peeps. Yes, they did. They, that they did that they did i have edible candy grass hmm that's interesting that's interesting Chris. i have heard of that i have i have heard of that tinsel is the worst so sticky that's the one where you pull it all apart right and yes like put it on the yep. tree. yeah they did expire in 2019 oh these expired in 2019 how long are these good for these are filled delights chocolate caramel swirl see that's what they oh my gosh good and different. i know i wasn't supposed to do anything with food but should we eat peeps? Or how long? Like, okay, if you guys right now in the in the chat, let me know if you have a package of peeps that you got from this year. And if so, could you let me know what the expiration date is so I can kind of judge? You know, because if these doesn't have a thirty year shelf life and it's they expire. Of last year. It's um, like five here's months. the Cadbury cookies that we didn't see them do at all this year. Yeah, here's I haven't found like. them anywhere. Perfect ratio there perfect horatio right there but these are cadbury cookies limited edition we got these last year they were at target i had like 10 packages of them crystal's hiding the cookies <laughs> from dan yeah we had a lot of those things we had a lot of those things these these things here first of all those people look like i got punched in the kisser uh, <laughs> and i can't tell if they're this color or they're like disintegrating <laughs> that's the color they started all right all right uh, we had a, a surplus of peeps and cadbury at my target at my target yeah but chase did you see the cadbury cookies this year because i went on a hunt before we weren't allowed to go on a hunt anymore and <laughs> oh wait uh the governor of michigan just said that those are those are okay okay so we can get we can still go and get peeps <laughs> Uh, as long as they don't have a motor on them, we can still go get peeps. So yeah, so let me know, guys, in the in, in the chat if you could find an expiration date on peeps that you've gotten in the last little bit, so I can see how how old these are. Eleven twenty one are the peeps. Okay, so these have been here for a couple years though. If if your peeps ain't expiring for you know past after the end of the world, then these ones are the should we we should we weren't supposed to do, do it. food. Do it. Okay. Do it. Let do me, it. Let me turn my mic down so I can crunch this open. Uh, two hours after the live show ends, we're gonna. I'm gonna get a message from Dan. My stomach hurts. That was last <laughs> week, wasn't it? Because yeah. I ate all those Dane. I ate all those Dane Uncrustables, which I still. I am still like 20 percent Uncrustable right now, and I put all that stuff on there. I'm like, I don't feel. I don't feel very good. I think I had to curl up in a ball for like 15 minutes, and I recovered. I bounced back fast. When yeah. I opened this package, it was just like I heard, whoa, <laughs> like I unleashed some spirits that have been locked away for years and years and years. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right away, these guys. A little worse for wear. I don't know if that's the way they are, but there's some sort of like, they've been dipped, so they've really stepped up the peep game. OMG, he's doing it, of course, dude. <laughs> yes, uh, peeps are not essential. <laughs> right? Peeps are not essential. <laughs> <laughs> they are like Twinkies. Uh, no, sir, they are absolutely not like Twinkies. That's for sure. Hold on, I put my oh, thing back. No. Okay, yeah. So we could eat one of these and wash it down with some brewskis here. Uh, in the meantime, guys. Uh, in the meantime, guys, uh, we have some merch going on. We have a big merch discount boogaloo going on. Sale. Sale. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know plenty of four-letter words. Apparently, a sale ain't one of them. I'm like, merchandise boogaloo. 25% uh, uh, off all merch. Uh, coupon code stay inside. A lot of merch is flown off the shelf. And what I was trying to do is I wanted to have, like, when we do these live shows, because we've done, like, what, is this four in a row now? Three, yeah, we're on a roll. roll. 
Yeah, we just gotta keep it going, and uh, we should have like we should we should have like merch Sundays where we all like put on the CC Mouse stuff, and and we have our mugs with our teas and our whatnots in there, your liquidables, whatever you want to put in there. Yeah, you can put solids in there too. You can put solids cereal. in there. You can even dry eat. cereal. Dry cereal. Oh, I love dry cereal or spaghetti in a cup. I love putting spaghetti in a cup. So much easier, guys, to just get to that spaghetti. You don't have to chase it all around the plate. Come on, come on. Okay, I like soup in a cup. Yes, me too. I have one of those bowls that go up like that with the handle on it, and I eat my yep. soup out of there. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Let's let's try one. Okay. <laughs> Another Dan mukbang. I know. I didn't want to. Hmm. Yeah, you can have one. <laughs> All right, here, look at they They have like caramel and stuff in them. Um, I'm concerned that these are still dang. I mean, they're soft still. They're still soft and fresh. Right. So I'm a little bit concerned since these are a couple years old. I mean, why, at least a why, year old. Why, I didn't go out and buy these this year at all. Why did you? Why do you still they're have them? Stale. Mm, what? They're definitely stale. They're stale? I can't tell because I don't eat peeps anyway. There's like a stockpile of candy in there that Crystal... Like, people collect pop figs and stuff. Crystal collects candy. Bootleg candy. Bootleg candy. <laughs> It's gotta be not the normal flavor. So over there in the corner, there's this huge pile of candy. I'm talking like bags of like, you know, like the bags of like M&Ms and stuff like that. But right. they're all special stuff. Like the other day I wanted a Twix and there was only like white label Twixes. And I don't even know if they make uh, those anymore, but she's got 10 of them over there. Um, the other day Has we she had gotten the brownie fudge M&Ms yet? Brownie fudge M&Ms. Did you already go through that? We had a hot cocoa. We had a hot, I did not get the brownie. We had a hot cocoa. That was a no. We, I don't know if you can hear it or not. We got yeah. we, we got hot cocoa um, Hershey Kisses. Amazing. Yep. Okay. I've had those. So the other day, we just I wanted Reese. Uh, no, I wanted uh, uh, M&Ms. And Crystal brought out a bag of M&Ms and put them in a bag and like opened it up new and put it in a bag. They were all red and green from Christmas. What year of Christmas they were from, <laughs> I don't know. But there is piles of bootleg snacks over there. I, I stay away. At, yeah, her favorite holiday is the day after the holiday to try to get those discount right. candies. And um, so there's lots of Halloween snacks over there. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's pounds of candy over there. I stay away from most of it because most of it's caramel and white chocolate stuff I don't like. Right. Uh, but there is a there is a ton there is a ton of stuff. Every bootleg bag of M and M's we have all of them. So that's Crystal's doing. That that's her hobby is collecting the bootleg snacks. So these are over there as well. Not too bad actually. Yeah. You'll have to find the the brownie fudge M and M's. Brownie when, fudge M and M's. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When I did the Meyer run after 16 days, when I had to go to Meyer, they actually had them there, and I bought two bags, and they're already almost gone. Cause they're delicious. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I I just I just want the regular stuff. Like the perfect candy is a Snickers. The Snickers is the perfect candy bar. Hear me out. Every other candy bar is a Snickers minus something. You want a Three Musketeers? What is that like nougat with none of the nuts or they any other stuff? <laughs> you want a Twix? That's half of a that's half of a Snickers minus the peanuts. Like everything else is just bits and pieces of Snickers. But right. not a Snickers. So I love I love Snickers. When I go over there and there's like a white Snickers or a hazelnut Snickers, and I'm like, no, just give me stop, stop experimenting on the candy. But it, like Oreos, twenty million different limited edition flavors. Yeah, you know. But here's the thing: somehow, somehow Oreos get a pass, except for those Fourth of, Fourth of July Oreos that like had Pop Rocks in them. I love Pop Rocks, but could you could you guys stay out of the Oreo game? Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, Din Dog said, banana quick on peeps, do it. Two minutes ago, you were like, mukbang Dan again? Well, make up your mind. <laughs> no, I don't I mean, I guess I could, I guess I could dip it in there like fun dip. No, no. Uh, I'm still jealous of all the Oreo varieties in the U.S. Uh, Becky, you don't get, you don't get any crazy Oreos? Did you see the Easter ones that had glitter in them? No, I did not see the Easter ones that had glitter in them. I didn't buy them. It was scary. Like, I'm like, that's like the worst thing ever. Uh, mint Oreos, yes. Reese's cups are the best. They are. Look what we started. We're right Dude. back down that hole again. <laughs> right back down that hole. But so I and I also have Cadbury cream eggs, and I tried to open one the other day. And it, since they put foil on them, um, it's hard to get all the foil off of it. It's like all stuck right. on there and stuff like that. But the peeps work, which I'm. I don't know what my stomach's gonna do with it. Like, how are you gonna digest that if they've been living in this box over here for over a year? Yeah. Holy cow, that's a lot of that's a lot of square footage I'm paying for for all this candy over here. We will find out how that goes later. And there's crazy <laughs> stuff. I know, right? There, there's crazy stuff over there. I have M and M's that are um, jalapeno M and M's. I've had those. I've had those. those they are weren't good. great. I don't the that flavor with chocolate isn't right. They should have been chili. They should have been like a cayenne 
flavor cayenne flavor with chocolate is amazing but the jalapeno flavor with the chocolate just was not a good mix i liked it a lot but i want to put some of those in a regular bag so i only get like i want a ratio of eating a few of them and one of them being the jalapeno ones same with the starburst right. starburst had i think would we get this at vidcon I think yeah, the hot. the hot ones. I like those too, yep. but I need one per like three. Like I need to eat a few and then I need uh, you know, right. to eat them. So yeah, anyway, so I do have, I still have enough candy. Like I have a small, e- like if the Easter Bunny lived here, he'd be, he would approve the candy pile over there. Right. So most of that stuff's crystal. So that is, that answers your question why we have piles of candy. And then underneath in a drawer, I think there's bags. I mean, there's like stacked, there's stacks of bags of, of candy underneath there. <laughs> Um, we have mint Kit Kats. That is something I want to try, Sarah. That I have not been able to see in the stores that I'm not allowed to go to anymore. Oh wait, the, I I've been finding them at gas stations. This just in: the mint Kit Kats are okay, but the regular ones are non essential. Non essential. Okay, so <laughs> so I can go and find. I can go get the mint the mint ones. So yes, they're the, the what are they? They're Kit Kat duos. They're dark chocolate and mint is the ones that they they had at the gas stations. Oh. I had lemon crisp Kit Kats that Greg. I haven't found them again. Greg went to the store without me before all this craziness happened, and he came over and he threw this bag of Kit Kats at me, and he's like, "Here, try these." And they were lemon crisp Kit Kats, and I finally just ate the last one because I was saving them because I don't know where he got them from, and I haven't seen them again. But those were delicious. I have peach Kit Kats. I have had a lot of really weird Japanese Kit Kats. Yes, yes. Japanese have a lot of flavors. They have lots of flavors of Pepsi and stuff like that. Obviously, somebody that's into the Japanese culture. They have like aloe. They have like aloe vera. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pepsi. You know, though, when we went to Canada, Canada has a lot of interesting flavors of Kit Kats as well. So I don't know why we get screwed on the Kit Kat flavors. Right, they get imported here, but they're, it's like you know, obviously on the on the front of the package there, it was written in Japanese. Right. So yeah, so we don't get them like natively, but I do like the Kit Kat thing, and I saw that you could buy like a bundle of them, like on Amazon or something, that had like some yep. of every Kit Kat. We could have a Kit Kat off, and I'm not the biggest Kit Kat fan. Like I won't, I'll eat them like if they're here, but I won't go and I won't buy a Kit Kat because there's so many better candies I can get besides a you know besides a Kit Kat. I like Kit Kats. Oh man! So, uh, how's your Easter egg coloring skills? Do you are you good at dyeing Easter eggs? I'm good at get. I'm good at getting dye all over my hands. Yes. Growing up, you guys growing up, and I know it's changed a lot now. Even when Blake was a kid, it changed. But growing up, there was like one kit. There was one kit. It was the box from that one company. I can see the name, but I don't recall the. I don't recall the logo. I think it was it? Pals. 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 Pals, pals, pals or which, pals. I don't know what else they do besides that. Like, what do you do for the rest of the year? What else are you guys making? Yeah. And it had that stinking wire that you would try to dip yep. your egg in. Oh, my gosh. I would always mess those up. My eggs would end up turning brown. It would start out okay, but it would end up turning brown. You need, like, a color guide or something on those. Do you remember the little um, – they were, like, glass and they were sh- – I think they were glass. They might have been plastic. They were shaped like rabbits that had the dye in them. Do you remember those? Um, and would you like squeeze it out? Yeah, like had the ears and like you unscrewed its head and like dropped the dye into yes. the cups. Yes. Yep. Yes. You had those and you had the dissolving pills. Yep. And they're yep. like and that was vinegar. It. And my family only used hot water, so they didn't really stick yeah. to the egg. And you had to like draw on it with a either a crayon or the wax crayon that came with it. Oh, which sucked. You could put yep, you could probably try to put your little designs on and that was it. Unlike now where there's tie dye eggs and galaxy eggs and sparkle eggs and yes. every kind of egg there you can imagine. There was an egg machine that you could put the egg in. It just spins around like a lathe and you just yes. sit there and you, you color and stuff. Yeah, Blake did have some some interesting interesting like egg options compared to when we were a kid that you'd have to cut the back of the box out and set the eggs on there. And Man, they yep. were so ugly. They were so ugly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get- the galaxy ones we did last year were cool. We did galaxy ones and tie dye ones last year. I'll have to find the pictures yeah. eventually. How do you do the tie dye ones? It was kind of the same thing. Like there was a bag, and you would put a drop of color in a bag, and then you would roll the egg in the bag, and then you'd take the egg out and let it dry, and then you'd go to the next color. So, but you had to let it fully dry. So you'd let that whatever color you like smushed on it dry, and then you'd have to put it in another bag with a different color and do the same thing and you just kept doing that and eventually you ended up with like this tie-dye looking egg huh that's kind of cool yeah it took a long time but they did turn out kind of neat uh, pj with the super chat not a fan of pop rocks yeah, i love pop rocks so much hate the taste of something popping in my mouth kind of like cheese curds i highly squeak in my mouth oh like the like the squeaky cheese 
yeah. I've had the squeaky cheese once, and that was kind of fun. Wow, so you must not like uh, Rice Krispies either. You know, you don't like that snap, crack, and pop stuff. I love it. I love it. And like I was even talking about, I think last night on the live stream when I had Kumiko hanging around me, um, she there's a video of her at, at, at little where I try to give her some pop rocks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, she ate some pop rocks. I love pop rocks. Are you a pop rocks fan? I, I do. I like them. I like all. I I like the at Christmas time they had the peppermint ones. I really liked those. Remember how they were around for a while and then they were gone for a long time and then it was like somebody decided it was time to bring them back. Really? Yeah. Oh right. I'm I'm okay with that. I like it. And, and even though I'm like like not the biggest fan of synthetic like watermelon melon flavor, like when you eat uh, Jolly Ranchers, I'll eat right. watermelon pop rocks. I'll eat any pop rocks. I do. I do like those. Those those make right. me happy. Yes. Um, so, I don't know if. No, that's it. I'm not eating any more candy. Like that's it. We're no. we're stopping no. a bit. I am not eating candy. Dan, how's your house going? Uh, my house is doing well. I got hot water now. The house is halfway put back together. I think by Friday, it'll be at least put back together, and then we can start washing everything in the house, washing, cleaning, doing everything because this house has just got a layer of dust on it. Drywall dust. Drywall dust, yeah. I mean, there's a layer of my lungs of drywall dust as well. Yeah. But uh, no, the house is uh, the house is coming along really great. You have hot water again? Oh my gosh. I know right before we went live, I, I, we were out there uh, doing some yard work and stuff, and I was able to come in and take a hot shower. And it's one of those things where, like, as soon as I'll forget about how rad it is, but even earlier, I was just like, wow, like, hot water. And I, like, I didn't <laughs> have to travel for it. I didn't. Right. Hold on. This just in. Hot hot water is not essential, but cold is. <laughs> oh, oh no no you just okay the hot water without the motor is okay 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 yeah so I can still do hot wait water five showers. minutes though because you know somebody might things change might their change. mind things might change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mint mint is still good. I'm gonna have to find those mint mint Kit Kats. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um so yeah anyway so the house is coming along nice. That is good. Um oh hey so I have it written down here. Tiger King's got a new episode that's supposed to come out today. When is that coming? When does that hit? I don't know. I haven't. I, I haven't have looked not. either. Have you looked and checked to see when the new Tiger King's out? Oh, that'll be. It. Does anybody even care about that anymore? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jess, uh, let's wrap it up on the Easter talk. Do you have anything else to say about Easter? Happy Easter! Ah! Um, Passover or chocolate day, my, whatever you like. My dogs wore ears, and I don't know. Easter was just weird. I called my I talked to my mom a little while ago and she told me she made spice cake. She's like, I made spice cake. You should drive by and come get some. And I'm like, Mom, we're not supposed to go out. She goes, It's an emergency. I made spice cake. <laughs> mm, uh, spice cake's okay. Just just, just some spice cake's okay. But but the carrot cake is it, which is just spice cake with carrots in it. Which I like carrot. Cake. I like carrot cake. Yeah, I do too. Yes. I I actually do too. No, Joel said raspberry and chocolate. Yes. 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 That's a good thing. It looks like it is up there and it's just Joel McHale interviewing people by video. Oh, how well, I guess that's true. Yeah, so I guess it is up there, and it's Joel McHale interviewing people by via video, kind of like we're doing here. Oh, okay. Can I get like, what? What if you put your finger this way? Is that too close? Is that? Is it this way? No, the other way. Wait, this way. To, oh, wait, God, on the camera. Wait, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're close. Wait, that's not six feet. <laughs> that's, not, that's not six feet. So. So Jess, uh, blueberries are good too. That's yeah, and candy they are. Yes. Oh, I have to watch out though because some of the red berries will give me tastes of like, uh, like if I drink a sour beer or I drink anything that's uh, like berry, I have to watch out because sometimes it tastes like Robitussin. Oh like yeah, cough syrup, yeah. The Tussin, and I don't, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. So <laughs> let's get on to the next topic here. So BuzzFeed. And you guys are familiar with BuzzFeed, right? The number one non-adult rated site on the internet. Well, that's what it used to be. I'm not sure that's number one anymore, which puts <laughs> it four billionth on the list. Um, if you guys don't know what BuzzFeed is, you guys can go to BuzzFeed.com. And they always have crazy, interesting things that are. Do you ever visit that site? Yes. The weird things of like personality quiz. Well, you know, this one will reveal what fruit you are or, or what Marvel character are you based on your ice cream choices? Or what is Steve from Blue's Clues doing now? I hope it's staying indoors. Um, but right. you know, BuzzFeed's always got like crazy stuff, and I was scrolling through there just to find content because it's right. really hard right now as a content creator to find content right now because nothing's being created out of there besides World War Three. Right. So I was going through this thing, and don't let the title like the title is Forty One Things Americans Do in Movies and TV Shows That Confuse the Heck Out of Non Americans. Oh God! And it's a bunch of tweets that I'm going to go through here, but. 
more importantly, I just want to know and, and, and touch on whether this is something that you and I personally do or if it's just a television thing. Um, <laughs> Hippie Good Witch says, hey, Dan, hey, Jess, how are, are Jamie and the dogs? You guys missed it. Jamie was just in here before the live yeah. started saying hi. And I don't know where's he at. Uh, he's in his office. Uh, what about the dogs? They're right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, going to have to get another camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can just have They're a They're literally a right there. I could toss it right Both up in that, that corner. We have plenty yep. of real estate right up there to, to, yep. to toss it in. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Oh my gosh, I appreciate that. Okay. Oh, where am I going to find content now? I know, right? We got to make our own content like today. Okay, so here we go. Nice. So some of these tweets, some of these tweets about what Americans do on TV that baffle the rest of the world. The first tweet says, uh, why do Americans on TV always swallow pills without a drink? I guess sometimes you guys see that they'll like swallow a pill or, or, or like a dumb and dumber. That guy was always taking his medication and just chewing on his pills. Like in house. Is that what, is that what he does on house? He just mm-hmm. eats it without water. What about you? Yeah. Do you, do you uh, take pills? I have, I have to have water. Have to. Do you? Yeah. yeah I'm a suppository guy, but um, uh, there's like the, <laughs> there's like the NyQuil ones that are huge, like horse pills. Yes. Sometimes those get stuck. Yep. Yeah, Blake can't Blake can't do it very well. Blake's always fighting with the pills. Like, why do they have to be so fat in the middle like a football? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. That one that one's an easy one. Um, do America's real do America Do Americans, Americans Oh my gosh, it's Dantics all over again. Do Americas Do Americans <laughs> really decorate their lockers with posters and mirrors and pictures of their crushes or is that just in the movies? Did you have a locker in high school? I did. I had a locker in high school. Did everybody get one, or did you have to have a note from the doctor to get a locker? No, we all had one. We all had our own locker, but I don't think I ever decorated my locker. I'm sure you had. I didn't really use. I didn't. I didn't like to use it because it was like one more place I had to go. I was more willing to carry what I needed to carry than have to run between class to go to my locker to get something. Like the only thing I ever really put in there, I think, was my coat. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Real quick, somebody said, uh, uh, I think Sarah said, oh, I just lost it. Oh, no, I lost it. Oh, fish oil pills are huge and taste funky. Oh, my gosh. I hate oh, fish oil God. pills. Uh, I challenge you guys right now to bite one open. No, <laughs> oh. don't. Andrea says, hi. Hi, guys. Um, I had, we had lockers here, but barely. When I was in, because I was in private school for a year. Um, I went through junior high and then high school. My parents put me in uh, Bethel Christian School. And I was there. Right. I made it. Oh, I only made it until, oh, I made it until spring break until I got the boot. I, yeah, they gave me the boot. Um, and I had a locker there. Otherwise, you can't get a locker because they got rid of lockers in California or whatever. You, you don't get a locker unless you have a note from the doctor and you have a back issue. So really? I didn't have a, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, there's just not lockers out here. It's not safe anymore. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. So when, huh. I, when I got dumped over to AB High School, which is in the suburbs over here or whatever, um, there was no lockers. There was like a strip of lockers. Hey, you had lockers? I was able to get a note from my chiropractor to get one. The school had them, but we weren't allowed to use them. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Crystal had a note from a chiropractor. So she got one. Did you get your own or did you have to share it with somebody? I shared it with all my friends. Yeah, see, I shared it with my <laughs> friends too. I shared it with my friends. Um, you, There was the little numbers that would go back and forth and you'd click the yep. thing up and inside there I'd wedge a pencil in there so it would go up and down and you wouldn't have to like have a oh password. Um, I didn't hang anything really on the inside of there. Um, Right after high school, it started getting popular locker stuff, even though we didn't really have lockers, but like little mirrors with magnets on them and little notepads with magnets on them. But when I was right. there, what I would really do honestly and i know this sounds bad is i ended up shoving a bunch of my lunches in there and it just like got rotten and then every now and then i'd have to go i know look at you look at the head nod and shame this is true i would have to uh <laughs> i'd have to dump out a bunch of just stuff in there uh, just stuff in there Here, i'll tell you I'll, hold on let me tell you one more why do story. i what and like it does what, the best part is is it doesn't surprise me. oh here's it doesn't <laughs> surprise you right here so i was in i was in fifth grade I was in fifth grade, and uh, my mom sent me, and you guys have heard the story, about my, my mom would always send me the bag lunch with no like ice cubes are in there, so my sandwiches would be all melted in there, and we had little Tupperwares, and she'd put fruit cocktail in there. This is before you guys had the new, you know, the fruit cocktail cups that you could eat and throw away, right. and I just think I shoved it in the back of my desk, and I had the desk that didn't lift up, but I had the desk that had the hole underneath it that went back to right. put all our books in there, and I put that back there because i didn't want it one day and it just got rotten and bad it stunk so bad and i don't know looking back like i never thought to take it out of there but there's fruit flies everywhere in the room and then one of the days the teacher called a timeout and was just like i need to check everybody's desk and started checking everybody's desk of where this was coming from and i think i was able to like dodge it or like i was able to like throw it away first oh man i I regret (laughs) i regret telling that story right now (laughs) 
<laughs> oh no um dan in private school well wait what yeah yeah my parents tried shopping me around for private school for a lot of you know for a long time until did school you took me how many years did you go oh i made it till i made it one year i waited my freshman year um till spring break that freshman year I, and the, the see, private was, school the private school i went to was kindergarten through 12th grade and everybody right. had been there since kindergarten and there was three openings for the whole school and i got one of them so i didn't know anybody yeah. i didn't belong um private schools are way more accelerated out here uh work pace wise yeah then, most you know, of I them mean, are yeah, yeah most so, of them are. i went I, I did private school kindergarten through eighth grade and oh, then i went okay. to a public school for uh high school because we moved up here and I was so far ahead of the high school up here. It was crazy. It was hard on me. It was hard on me because I left all my friends who were going to high school. Um, and when you're a kid, like, I, I I didn't see them for six months. So when I went back to high school, everybody got, you know, freshmen. Everybody had their own cliques and everybody moved on and stuff. And it, it was really it was really difficult. But I went there. I didn't do very well at all. I got in trouble a lot. Like it just, it, it didn't, it didn't really, uh, it didn't really work out. It didn't really work out for me, but yeah, I went there up until right. spring break and I'm just like, I don't know. Somebody said like, you know, save your, save your money. So I didn't right. get along. Like you couldn't have, like they took away my Pittsburgh Penguins jacket cause it was a pro team. I'm like, no, like really? You don't like that? There's a bird holding a hockey stick on my jacket, man. I got right. to, I got to get out of here. So I was so happy to, so happy to get out of that. Wow. You did go to, you did go to private school for a while. Yeah. Kindergarten through eighth grade. It was nice. Yep. Like it was a really nice school. It's across the street from the college, so it's it's, yeah. it's right over there. But uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't last very very long there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. The next one. Uh, do Americans really eat chips on sandwiches like on TV? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like I don't. I. It's not an option. It's 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 like mayonnaise and mustard, and chips, meat. Like it's not an option. That one absolutely. And I know that's not a, also a common thing too. A lot of people think that's disgusting. Yeah. What about you? I like crunch. I like crunchy food, so I don't. I like putting chips on sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's like not. But I, I, I like crunchy food, so. That's the thing. That's the thing that I, I'm always talking about. Like, if I eat like a bean burrito or something, I need like tortilla chips in it or something. I need to feel crunch, even if it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And yes, crunchy peanut butter is the only way. It's the only way to go. Um, that's still not enough. It just feels like mush to me. So I do need to feel like that I'm biting something like a carrot. You know? Right. Like a carrot. Like a carrot. Yeah, right. So that's not up for the debate. Just use a carrot. Yeah, uh, yeah. A quick way to get banned is to say you don't like chips. That's me pointing to the chat that's <laughs> over here, by the way. Mm, chips or Fritos? Fritos are good. I like Fritos. I like Fritos with chili on them. I Fritos like are good. I like Fritos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one. Um, do Americans really... Wait, no, no I'm sorry. Uh, Americans in movies always have a big bowl of mixed lettuce in the middle of the table with their dinner. Um, if it's a family dinner and stuff like that and there's big things in there, the salad will be there to serve yourself up the salad, kind of like it's Olive Garden. But, but not like it, it's not an every dinner thing. No, here it's not at all, at all. Like you take out the bag of salad, put it in there, and you put the bag of salad back. Yeah. So that one doesn't really apply to either of us. Yeah, no. Um, do Americans really have red cups all the time at parties, or is it just in the movies? Someone let me know. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, those solo the red, cups. The red solo cups? I have a hundred pack of them up there right now. I literally I have a hundred pack have, of solo cups over there. I don't know if I have the red ones or the blue ones, but I'm pretty sure I have some downstairs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, the answer to that is yes. Only, yep. to, be, <laughs> only to be like... Uh, brought to the movie forefront because of uh of um beer pong yeah, yeah right yeah but yeah we do have a hundred pack over there at all times do america's do americans really carry groceries in paper bags or is that just the movies only oh back in the day there was no plastic it was just paper before it became paper or plastic yeah and that paper yeah. or plastic but yeah uh-huh mm -hmm. yep we didn't we i didn't... still do paper bags when i go to the small grocery store the local grocery store Wow, I haven't I haven't had a paper bag in years. And when I did, they were like but, the lunch bags for Blake. See, we used we used to Trader use them for them. Um, empty pop cans. So okay. we would get the paper bags, and then that's what we would put the empty pop cans in. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, like Crystal said, uh, Trader Joe's still does paper, but right. none of the stores out here they're they're only plastic, and they're ten cents a bag now. You can't they're they're ten cents a bag. Cards are still free. Yeah, well, because apparently mean, they're essential. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. Okay, so you know that area where you're my. Oh, I'm about to. I'm about to explain to you your town. So you know how there's the Meyer <laughs> and then there's the 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 uh, the Walmart across the street there. Do yeah. you have just? Tr and I don't recall. I don't think so. There's no tr bunch of trash blowing around, right? 
No. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, our Walmart has got a field and then a home, and that field is just riddled with trash, trash everywhere. So they charge ten cents per bag to try to keep this, the trash down because people are idiots. Right, right. Food Max is the only store that still does paper bags. Yeah, so there's still there's still people that do it. Yep, Trader Joe's has paper bags. Yes, and Stater Brothers. Um, our Stater Brothers does not have paper bags anymore. Maybe. Dang, Sarah, you got a yeah, you got a Stater Brothers. <laughs> Holy cow. Hmm. So okay, so, yeah. So, so uh, I don't. I think I think we're right. Yeah, people put their groceries in paper bags. Okay, let's see the next one. These are fun. <laughs> There's a lot of these. Um, according to movies, oh, this is gonna be a hard one. All Americans have a big bag of frozen peas in their fridge, but they never use it while cooking. Shut up. <laughs> I have a bag of frozen peas in the I freezer. I bet you do. And why did I get those? Why did I get the frozen peas, Crystal? You were making something. Yeah, I was going to make something and I didn't and use the peas. Want peas in it, so yeah. It. And then so and I I liked peas growing up. They're just green corn. But now that I'm older, I think it's corn. just mush. But yes, I do have a bag of frozen peas that I do not intend to use until we're super locked down. Are the peas don't okay? The peas are okay. So yeah, so Don't what you know you? what don't you know what frozen bags of peas are for? Uh, I don't know. Andy Milanakis put peas on his head. I put uh -huh. peas on my head, but don't call they're me for, a pea head. They're for, they're for migraines. Oh yeah, just on your forehead. Yep. That's what head off. What is it? Uh, that's, head off. That's what all they're good for. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Applied directly to the forehead. So um, yes, I do actually have a bag of peeps in the fridge, or a bag of peeps, um, a bag of a peas in the fridge that I do not plan on using anytime soon. I guess unless I get a haircut, you know. Right. Right. Uh, why do Americans on TV shows, films, really say goodbye when they hang up the phone? Is it just me, or is that just rude? See you there. You're right. They make their point, and they don't always say, like, goodbye, see you later, sora jane. They don't know. They just hang up. You're right. Uh, I say bye. Oh, uh -huh, me too. I'm like, all right, see yeah. you later. I think I say bye, yeah, friend, and then... Bye. No peas in my freezer. Let's see, are, pee are people peeing in the freezer? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else, what, what, else, what else people say here. Uh, that they, like canned peas over frozen peas i don't like peas at all i think they're gross um i think the last time i had peas i remember going like i need to reevaluate my my thing of my now my peas. In i do okay. like split pea soup I, don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I do i do like split pea soup i just don't like peas like as a vegetable they're a vegetable right like as a side thing it's not they're okay i just don't like pies. them I'll eat them in like chicken pot pies. Yeah, yep, yep. They're good in stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't like them just by themselves. I'd like to try pea soup. Maybe that would be okay. I do like split pea soup. Split pea soup with ham is really good. Um, here we go. Why do Americans on TV name their dog Buster? Like, what's he busting? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever really if I if I've seen that too much. I mean, I've heard the name. Man, but... I I saw a TikTok the other day. I wish I would have saved it. And it was this girl that worked at a pet store. And she's like, dog names that people need to stop using. And she was like, Buddy. And Buster was one of them. Molly. She named like all Molly? of these. She's Molly. like, anybody that doesn't think that somebody else out there has a dog named Coda. And then she specifically said, any husky owner, stop naming your dogs Luna. And I'm like, I know oh so gosh. many huskies named Luna. It's, it's, uh... I see lots of, uh, I see lots of, I guess Luna. Yeah, you're right with Luna. Luna, yeah. and there's one more that I see a lot of too. Phoenix is I see, one. I see a lot of, I see a lot of Luna. I see a lot of Aurora is another really common name I see for Huskies. I don't know why. And Coda, Coda's another one. Um, I started to see Game of Thrones dogs too. Like, oh, right, like right. Like and, and, and. And names like that. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know any Busters, but I've definitely heard that name for on a pet before. Right. Okay. Um, do Americans actually have an obscene amount of pillows, uh, throw pillows on their bed, or is it just another lie told to us by the movies and TV shows? I just depends. It just depends. Have... You have six on that futon behind you right there. Yeah, yeah, there's at least six or seven on beds. There's four or five useless pillows on our couch that do nothing. Yeah. They That's do nothing these, at all. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. These are useless. They're yes. pointless. Which is make, <laughs> Yeah, yep, they are. So, yes, that is. These are. So, when I started reading these, I'm like, this is great. Like, this is great. Is this really happening? <laughs> I stopped after like three or four. I'm just like, I want to be, I want to, I want to figure this out as well, too. Right. I want to figure this out. Okay. 
Um, Loki said lots of Lokis too. There is lots of Lokis and Thors. Thors there is a yes. lot of a lot of Loki and Thor is a very common dog you name. You know what? There's not many of though that there needs to be more of, and I'm 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 always pushing this. Whether it's a goldfish, or you know where I'm going with this, or whether it's a baby's name, or whether it's your dog's name. I think I even asked you if I could pay for your dog's food bill for life if you'd name it Dan. Um, there needs to be more yeah. pets named Dan. Someone <laughs> did name a fish after me, though. Someone did name yeah. a fish after me. Yes, yes. So, I don't know. I hope it's still alive. Uh, do Americans really hang out in parking lots, or is that a TV trope? No. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Hanging out in parking yep. lots is definitely is definitely a thing. That is definitely here, a thing. Here, it's the thing that especially, like, the high school kids do. They all park their trucks next to each other, and then they yep. all sit on the hoods of their trucks or on the tailgates of their trucks mm-hmm. in the parking lots, and they're all playing loud music. Yep, it's yep. definitely a definitely thing. Definitely a thing, yes, definitely a thing. Uh, let's see, what are the next ones here? <laughs> here we go. This is a great one. Do Americans actually have a school assignment where they have to take care of a bag of flour like it's a kid or another <laughs> student? <laughs> is that something in the movies? Oh, my gosh. Saved by the Bell is what pops into my head the first is first is why they did that on Saved by the Bell. I think Zach had his uh, had his uh, bag of yeah. sugar. Um, yeah, I, I didn't see it in school. Did you see that in school? I think by the time it was in school, they actually had babies with like monitors yep. and stuff in there, like like little like Tomodachi's. Where if you dropped it, it cried, or if you flipped it yeah, over the right. wrong way, it, I, it cried. I never did that. Uh, Dean Dog said, um, Jess's next puppy can be named Dan. I assure you there's one thing that I promise you, and that dog will not be named Dan. <laughs> there was no, there, that's not, that's not it. You know, I'm not going to hang out with you, and you're going to be all, you're going to go, Dan, and, and and the dog and I are both going to go, huh? <laughs> Who? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be accused of being the, like the misbehaved Dan of the bunch. Right, <laughs> but yeah, I did, I didn't carry that around. Did you? Did you? I didn't see that with my eyes or anything. Not flower, but the but the electronic baby thing that you had to take home overnight and it would cry in the middle of the night. They had that at your school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I didn't. I did not see that with my eyes at all. Um, do Americans eat as many of those bear claws at work on, as they <laughs> at work on TV as you see in the movies? Um. Yeah, yeah, people love the bear claws. I not the biggest bear claw thing, but that's always a staple go to. Like, hey, I want donuts, and if you want, and you have to be like, and also get me a bear claw or like an apple fritter right. or something like that. So they are, and they're always separated. They're never in the bin with everything else. They're always right. like, they're always like, uh, they're always off to the side on their special thing and stuff like that. So yeah, I think, I think so. I think so. My my go to donut is the sour cream donut. What's a sour cream donut? I mean, I think I can guess what it is, but like it's a donut made the it's made with sour cream, Uh-oh. but they're and I don't like sour cream, but sour cream donuts are the best. They're very, <laughs> they're very soft. They're like a cake donut, but they're really soft. Huh? No, I've not. I have not heard of that at all. I have not heard of that. And I'm and I'm sure it's not straight. It's not straight sour cream. It's like mixed with the no. stuff. Yeah, it's mixed yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go to the next. These are fun, yeah? We keep, keep on yeah. going with these. Oh, these yeah. are great. These, yeah. yeah, these are great. Okay. Um, do Americans actually have their funerals in graveyards with wooden chairs set up besides the grave, or is that just in a movie thing? Yeah. I've only yeah. been to one in my life, and it was at a grave yeah. up the street, and they like it was just like TV. It, yep. was, it was like the November rain music video <laughs> from Guns N' Roses, <laughs> except for it wasn't raining. So it was there. The cast oh, yeah. there was the whole there was a podium like a yep. like a podium. Um, and then there was chairs set up and I was sitting in a chair and I looked down and like I my feet and I didn't know what to do. Like it, there's other gravestones there and I'm trying not to put my foot down. And yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But did they play taps? Like that. Like that thing from uh, Diana Kirby? No. The last funeral I went to that was like that was actually uh, Jamie's grandpa. Mm-hmm. And he was in the military, so they played taps at the at the funeral. Oh, okay. No, no, no. They didn't they didn't they didn't do that. They didn't do that. And that was They a, do that a lot in the movies. That's why I brought it that, up. <laughs> yeah, right. No. No, it was a friend. So no, it was just uh but it was. It was just like you saw in the movie there. There was people with coats yep. and stuff like that. I, I okay. 
I'll take it further. You know how you in in, in the movies you you see like the people watching the funeral from afar, or somebody shows up like in a trench coat and they watch and they leave to show their respects. I was there because it was my mom's coworker that I knew too growing up. You know, I'd go visit my mom at work and stuff like that, and and and, and they were pretty close. And she passed, and my mom lived in Vegas, so I went out of respect to get like the little flyer and the little cards and stuff like that. And I right. didn't know if anybody recognized me, so I went and just kind of like hid out a little bit. <laughs> until until the end um so yeah so yes you're the creeper of I the did. funeral i mean there's got to be one right right so there's uh, uh, there's got to be one uh pj with the super chat i appreciate it you're always super chatting bud my dad made fish sandwiches tonight my grandpa gave him some fish bread and, Ooh, only it wasn't for fish it was for donuts so the fish was sweet tonight oh my gosh take that kfc was that good i must know was that good or not i am oh in, i am gosh. in and now i want to flay a fish Oh, that would man. be interesting. I am in. I am in for it, sweet. I love a mashup of tastes and stuff like that. I put barbecue sauce on my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so I have like I love I love mashups. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you I don't know how, I just if, if I would want dozen. if I would want it to be um what's I don't know if I want sweet fish. That would be interesting. I do I wanna I wanna I do wanna I do wanna test it. Uh, Steve said um Honey, hum, hummy, honey, honey crullers are the best donuts. Those are pretty good. We call them tractor tires. That I don't know if I don't think I've, I've had. I'm I'm a fan of just I'm a fan of a chocolate bar, and I'm a. You fan hit a of, honey cooler. That was the very first Tim Hortons donut you ate. Yes. Okay. Yes, I remember now. I remember now. That was yep. a fun. That was a fun trip. We were in uh, Saginaw at that. Yep, we were, we were in Saginaw. We were in yep. Saginaw for that. That was good. I love chocolate bars, and I love the French ones, the ones that are like um, lumpy or like like they're the French donuts because they they like fall apart. I love those right. with the pink on top. I love, I love the pink. Look, we're back to food again. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Everybody is in the. Everybody. To be fair, everybody else is in the chat there. Everybody else right? is in the chat. Right. I know. And congratulations, us. We just hit a hundred concurrent people here. Hi, everybody. Thank you for wow. spending your Sunday with us. We are here to bring you guys the smiles and um, involve yourself in the chat. Let us know if 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 uh, these things that we're going over is crazy. Um, uh, do Americans actually eat peanut butter and jellies, or is that fake like a movie thing? Oh, uh, skip that one. Yeah, of course we eat peanut butter and jellies. It's aw- They're yeah. awesome. Such a go-to. Yeah. Such an easy thing. I toast my bread, though. Unless I'm I, being yeah. lazy. I toast my bread. Yeah. Uh, do Americans sleep in shoes like in the movies? I do have a picture of me crashed out with my shoes on, but no, my shoes come flopping off. Not on off. purpose. Yeah, not on purpose. <laughs> not on purpose. Right. Not on purpose. Oh, donut. Donut cre- crepe? Donut crappy. Donut crappy. Crappy. I, I, I'm in. I'm in. I, I do want to try that. I am in. Uh, let's see. Um, do Americans... Oh, here's a good one, Jess. Do Americans Uh-oh. always leave their keys in the car, or is that just only in the movies? Here's me. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Jess is like, oh, it's in the car, or go get it in the car, or something like that. So I go ice skating out to the car, and I'm like, where's your key? Like, do you have the keys? And they're, you're like, oh, they're on the seat. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. They're on the seat, and 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 I got in trouble for locking the doors. That's because my Greg, keys were in there. <laughs> no, they're locking the house door. Greg was all mad. Whoa, is the door locked? Oh my god, no! It was there. It was there. I had a fifty-fifty shot. 50/50. I don't think the only, we we lock our door at night. Oh yeah, but that's it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I like when I go in and out because it was like daytime, like or like it was like, yeah. um, you know, like uh, everything needs to be unlocked during business hours. It was business hours, yeah. but every time we go in and out of everything, the door gets the door gets locked. I get in trouble here when I only lock one of the two locks. Like it's right. Yeah, you gotta you gotta lock everything. So uh, yeah, I thought that was funny. So yeah, the answer is uh, it depends on where you live in the country. Yep. <laughs> ah, here we go. Do Americans really do Americans really wake up and drink milk from the carton like that, or is it a movie aesthetic thing? I see that with orange juice too. Or you know, like you see the guy get up, goes yep. and walks to the kitchen and just starts chugging stuff out of the carton. Um, yeah, I don't. I have in my life. I, I have lie, too. But like, I don't make a habit of it. Or if I do, I it's, don't let Crystal see. It's not an everyday thing. It's not an everyday thing for sure. So yeah. so. Yes. Apparently, we're savages. Like, this is telling me that people don't do this in other parts of the world. Right? Holy cow, I'm going to go live in another country, and they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, you're an animal. I'm like, but I'm well-behaved. I'm potty trained. Right. Yes. Okay. Um. Wait, do Americans really call older people ma'am and sir, or is that just a movie thing? Um, It just depends. Yeah, it depends on where you're from, mm-hmm. and it depends on – it really does depend on where you're from. But I've definitely done both. Sir, yeah, sir, I have too. ma'am, ma'am, Carol, 
Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that's 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 something that's just kind of courtesy or that's kind of like yep. a you know a thing. But uh, here's another one. Do Americans go to the batting cages as much as in the movies? Yeah. Baseball. I'm not a baseball fan, but I'll go hit some. I'll go hit some balls in the batting cage. So yeah. yeah. But you know, I don't know. Like I don't know if that's televised a lot. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I guess it's in a lot of TV shows. I mean, the last time I saw anybody go to the batting cage in a movie would be like Fever Pitch. It was a movie with like Freddie Prinze Jr. and Matthew Lillard, Lillard, and like they were in the batting cage. But I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. Like I would like. Okay, so we have um Fun Zone, Fun Gift. No, Fun Zone is yep. the adult store. Um, what's that? Uh, Mulligans. Mulligans. Um, we have Mulligans, and they have like go karts and boats and stuff like that. And sure yep. enough, they have a batting cage. They do have a batting we- cage. The place we have used to be called Cars and Pars, but now it's Arzo's, and Arzo's has a batting cage. And then we had another one that actually just closed down, but they had a batting cage as well. So even we have one in our little town. Wow, your green screen oh just went gosh. all crazy. Okay. Well, if, if we go out, I'm sorry, the power just went out and came back on. No, it's just your lamp. Oh, is it just a lamp? Oh my gosh. Um, could you do me a favor and wiggle the plug, please? Oh, look. Whoa. <laughs> Let's tell ghost stories. <laughs> but yeah, there are batting cages. There are, there are batting cages. Yeah, my light just died. Sorry. We'll figure that out. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Oh my gosh, it like super. It like super. This, it like super died. died or what? Um. Do you need me to go find you? There we go. Try, All right. try it again, please. So, okay. So, yeah. So, uh, um, do Americans... Ah, <laughs> now in HD. Uh, Helen with the super chat. Simba was my husky's name. We have... Uh, we had a cat named uh, Nala. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, Lion King names go around. But I've not seen too many Simbas for a dog. No, I haven't either. Uh, and, oh, and thank you for the super chat. <laughs> uh, do Americans actually purchase fake IDs? Or is that just a movie thing? Yup. Mm-hmm. I never mm-hmm. had one, but yeah, that I know people that have. I let my friend use my ID once when he went to Vegas for the weekend and it got confiscated. I'm like, I knew you didn't look like me. I knew you didn't look like me. But yes, yes, fake IDs are definitely a thing. Um, they, they'll they come in boxes packaged with other stuff and you can take it right? out. Yes, yep. yes. So yes, fake IDs are definitely a thing. Um, do Americans actually have photo shoots for homecoming, birthdays, etc.? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Man, what do you guys do around the world? Is this... And I don't know where this is coming from. This is just people that are posting the tweets... Right. ...on the twatters and, and the stuff that, that they're that they're doing. Um, right. Uh, look, he said, uh, driving range. Golf is actually a hockey player's summer sport. Yeah, whatever it takes to swing this up. That's the one thing that I had a hard time with is golfing because my hands have to go up so high as opposed to down here like when I'm swinging my hockey stick. Right. Because I'm a hockey player. So I would... Well, um, um, choking back on choking back on the stick is is hard. And man, I have a wicked slice. I would just send those things over to the right of the fence. So yes, that 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 would be like maybe their batting batting cages. Right. Uh, do Americans really take high school football games that seriously, or is it something in the movies out here? Nope. Back east, yes. Yep. yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Varsity Our- Blues is definitely Varsity Blues. Our high school, our high school football games, the high school is not far from our house. When they have the games going on, I can actually sit in the backyard and hear the announcer. And it's huge. It's packed. The stadium's packed. It's that's something that people do. But um, people here also support our uh, hockey team, our high school hockey, just as much. I I would definitely get behind that. I could totally get behind that. I feel creep. I feel like a creeper if I showed up to the high school football game. Right. Oh yeah. No. Everybody here like, goes. It's I would just feel it, like a creeper. It's everybody even if your goes. Kids not in high school, right? Yeah. Even if you're not in high, if you yeah. don't have kids in high school and you don't know anybody yeah. in high school, they they still go to the game. That's just what I mean. That's we've gone before. That's just what we do. Yeah. Yeah. See, I would feel like a creeper. Like they would be like, "What are you doing here?" Like I have no business being here. But here's, if it was hockey, I would I would get season tickets to it because I love yeah. I love hockey that much so yeah yeah people back east do it here but here in California no it is not I mean people do it but it is not a right. thing of like hey we're gonna go like over there and, and drink a sixer with uh, Matthew McConaughey under the bleachers and then go watch high school sports no. I mean even like our news that they talk about the the high school our whole sports on our local news is like the, dedicated to the high school sports like they don't even tell us you know oh yeah the red wings lost again 
And then it's like five minutes of nothing but high school sports. And they're like, you know, oh, the Alpena football team, the Roger City football team, the Posen football team. Like, and there are all these little itty bitty tiny schools around us. But that's the important. And we have rivalries between our schools, between like Traverse City and Alpena, especially Traverse City and Alpena, because Traverse City's the, the, the high dollar kids. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I've seen once or twice, and it blew my mind when they talked about high school C- C- CIF stuff growing up on television i'm like holy cow that's like our field yeah so right. that, that was never that was never a thing hey uh uh crystal you were a cool kid in school no I wasn't. <laughs> did you ever go to the high school football games and stuff no but someone added me to the high school like my graduating class group and they're always trying to get people together like let's go watch the football game really okay yeah yeah see so i don't know it's just something that like it's just it's not no, not in the California really. But right. we don't love like here everybody's transplants. Like we don't right. really get behind stuff like you guys do over there. Right. Um the universities, yes. Um like uh like my friend Cheryl, she went to USC. They're always going to the USC games, they're always going to the Rose Bowl, they're always going to do this, you know, they were alumni and stuff. I get that. But right. I don't know, it just it's just weird to me. So it just depends. It's regional, I think. And I think yeah. it's more back over the flyover states where you live, more so than it is here on the coast. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see what else somebody said. Oh. Uh, do Americans really have five minute conversations at the door, or is that just in movies? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. And we do this. We have like Mexican goodbyes, where like we'll stand at the door and talk for like another thirty minutes before things happen. So yeah. <laughs> they call that's a Midwestern goodbye as well. Like when you when you're talking and you know it's time to leave, so you stand up. Mm-hmm. And then you talk for another 15 minutes and then eventually you make it to the door and then you talk for another 15 minutes and then you're standing at your car with your hand on the door ready to get in your car and you're still talking to each other. That's a Midwestern goodbye. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, there's another 30 minutes, especially if you're with oh, anybody at least. that's older than you. And then when you get to the car, it's another 30 minutes and then yep. we finally back out and leave. I don't know if you guys know, it's, hon- it's horn honking and waving. Yep. Yep. Bye. Yep. Bye. Call yep. when you get home. I'm like, okay. In the Bay yep. Area, it's popular. Okay, and that's just up north. So I think it's just regional. Or maybe it's me personally that's just not into it. That I don't know. So Could with, be. Yeah, yeah. But definitely when you see, like, the movie Varsity Blues and stuff, when you see, like, the adults and stuff going to, like, watch the high school sports and stuff like that, it's just not that big of, it's not that big of a thing here. Right. It's not big, that big of a thing here. Um why do Americans call hot chocolate hot cocoa, or is that just a cheesy Christmas movie type thing? Because it's made with cocoa. It's made with cocoa. I'm curious from Becky to weigh on this. Um, is it is that a thing? Is that you know? Yeah. Is that a thing? But I feel like coca coca uh, hot coca. It says, but yeah, hot cocoa. That that's that's right. There's there's synonyms for it. So I don't think that's too outlandish for anybody else in the world to call it the ingredients that it's made of. I mean, although I don't say I don't. I'm not like, hey, give me a slice of marinara cheese and bread. So you know, <laughs> I, I guess not. I what do I call it? Hot chocolate. I always call it hot chocolate. Yeah, I call it hot chocolate. I call it hot chocolate. You can get it. Do you put milk in your hot chocolate? Sometimes, and cinnamon. Do you put cinnamon? You put cinnamon on things, though. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's really good. Do you eat? Don't you, you, ever, try it. you ever eat? You ever eat cinnamon sugar on toast? Uh huh. Yeah, that's that. That's some good stuff. Um, why do Americans have a whole class dedicated to trig? Or like, why do movies do? Do people say that they're going to trig class? I think that's just because trigonometry is at the highest level of math. Is that is trig the highest level of math? Crystal's got a mouth full of food. Did you take trig? Hmm. I did not. I was is like, it true? What's calculus? Is calculus before that or calculus, after that? Calculus. I I don't know where they rank, but calculus is the one where you actually have to have the calculator with the, the with the curves and stuff like that. You know, right? You guys know right. Ryan from the bike shop. Super smart yeah. guy. Super smart guy. He was taking those classes and he had those expensive calculators and stuff like that. So I think that's what it was. I was more like a business math and consumer math and, and intra algebra math. Um, um yeah. when it comes to math, for me, it's like it's it's math. It's math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I, always like, that's always what I say. I'm always like, I don't know when it's like, there's 16 and four and, and that's math. And then I just go on. Like, I don't need to know the answer. It's just math. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yes. Cinnamon is amazing. I love it. I know cinnamon. So calculus good. calculus is it's, above trig. It's after trigonometry. I've yeah. never, I didn't take any of the AP classes or anything like that. So, but I don't know if it's popular in the, you know, I can't talk about that. But everywhere I've known and stuff like that, that's just the math, like hierarchy. I know- I know Greg took trig and calculus. I know Jamie, I'm pretty sure Jamie took trigonometry. I didn't. 
I barely made it through algebra. It was like math. Yeah, me too. Me too. Trig cal is like in, in, <laughs> integrals and high level ish. And yeah, well, like integers and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like that. I always, always get into a fight with the teacher of like a negative and a negative is a positive. Like it's a negative plus a negative is more negative. I'm wrong, <laughs> but it just doesn't. It doesn't make sense in my game. It doesn't make right. sense in, in my brain. Like it's, it just doesn't. Right. Um, do Americans really care about homecoming as much as they do in the movies? Yeah. Yeah, homecoming's pretty big. Homecoming is is very big. It's just like the prom or anything, and I don't know why it's not in anywhere else. Even if I don't know if they have homecoming anywhere else. Yeah, but yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We have a big, we have the big homecoming party and the football game and the tailgate and the dance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a. Yep. We have homecoming, you know, king and queen. Like, there's a big pep rally at our school. We do it all. They have the other games too. What? Hey, do you remember the the sock game? The something? No, the sock game's something different. Um, what's it called when the guys put on the cheerleader outfits and the girls go out there and play football? It was some sort of something, but that was popular at homecoming too. Did you guys have that as well? Where like the guys I would go out there and you'd be the cheerleaders and the girls would go out there and play a football game. Yeah, yeah I don't remember what that. it was called, but that was popular for homecoming as well. But yeah, homecoming week was very popular. There ain't nothing to oh, do yeah. at school. So yeah, like, yeah, that is very popular. I think I even and went during. There. During our homecoming week, we also had like themed days to celebrate that homecoming. Like right. there was like different days where you were supposed to wear different things during that yes. week. Like yes, there was all was... kinds of there was all kinds of stuff. It was it was yeah. more, it was like a more sloppily version of um, prom. Yeah, like yep. more things. That's that's when you would see the mascots being stolen. Which that should have been yeah. a question here. Do you guys really steal our mascots and stuff? But yes, that's when you'd get the mascots stolen. That's when Alpha yep. Beta Pi would 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 take your uh would take your and dragon like, statue or your or your mascot that's a goat. We had homecoming in the fall, and then we had Winterfest that was right yes. around February, and it was the same type of thing. And then prom was in like May. Oh, Powerpuff. Yes, maybe that's what it was called. The the Powerpuff. Pow- was it called Powerpuff or Powderpuff? Powderpuff football. Yes. Where, yeah, where, apparently where, that's what everybody says. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Where they would change it. It's Spirit Week too. Yes. Spirit Week was was really Spirit popular Week, yep. as well. Yeah. So yeah, the, it was it was it was a more amped up version of the prom, which was expensive as heck. Holy cow! Yeah. Prom tickets were like one hundred and twenty dollars. My prom sucked. My I'm like. I'm LA County. I'm on the edge of LA County here, and the beach is about an hour away by car, hour and fifteen minutes away. Well, now it's like right. twenty minutes away if, because there's nobody on the road. And uh, I had it was one hundred and twenty dollars for a ticket. We had to load up on a bus. You had to buy your tickets early. The earlier you got a ticket, the closer to the time it was to leave that you got your pictures taken. Right. And so my girlfriend at the time got tickets, but she got them a little late. So. I would have to show up at like noon to get our pictures done in a tuxedo that I rented in a boutonniere and a corsage. And we would, t- and then we'd have three more hours until we had to leave and you'd have to go kill all that time. They loaded us up into a charter bus. They drove us almost two hours because buses are slow, especially trying to get over the mountain to get down into Hollywood LA area, down to the beach area where we were on the beach in this big glass um, uh, uh, museum, an airplane museum. It was really pretty and stuff in there. Outside the windows, beautiful beach view, water. But guess what? Nobody was allowed to go outside the doors at all. You had to stay inside and stare at the beach. So driving down there, all our stuff's wilted away. All our stuff's melted, and and, and, and it was bad. I was hot. I was sweaty. I was clammy in a tuxedo. I sat on a charter bus for two hours to go to this <laughs> mediocre prom. Nobody had booze. Nobody spiked the punch. Nobody did anything fun. And then um, we had to go two hours back home. We had to go. We had to go two hours back home. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we'd get home at like two in the morning, and then you'd go out to Denny's to eat. I right. always wanted the prom like on television, where it was at the local high school. You could drive yourself. You could show up. You could leave to do whatever drove, you wanted. I drove to do. myself. We drove ourselves yeah. to prom. Jamie and Jamie and I went to prom together. I think we talked. I did, think we did a whole podcast we, episode. I'm sure we've this. talked about that before because I do yeah. remember us talking about it before. But yeah, yeah, it was it was sad for me. But you lived the prom life. You lived the you lived the television American Pie minus the pie prom life, or maybe there was pie. Yeah. I don't know. You know, so I did not have that, and I'm super envious of that. It was. I mean, they checked they checked hairspray bottles. They checked my ID. It was so like I was getting on a on one of those jail buses. Right, right. No buzz. No buzz at all, Becky. And if we were to have a buzz, <laughs> it would be gone by the two hours before I got down there. You know, so right. yeah, so junior and senior prom just kinda kinda sucked. You only went did you go to both you went to junior or senior prom? 
No, just senior prom. Just senior prom? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ooh, uh, Brianna with the super chat, and thank you for the green screen. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, my high school is in Calabasas, so okay, I know where that's at, with a big on homecoming. Yes. See, and even like in Calabasas, like they still, that's, I'm sure that like it's a little bit bigger than out here. So I'm sure it was done up pretty dang nice. Uh, Steve said, um, our graduation was the day after prom. They did that on purpose. They. At graduations out here, they'd give you a fake diploma, so that way you didn't do anything stupid. Otherwise, they were gonna hold your real diploma. But at that point, psh, you're, you were done. But um, a prom was like a week or so before, maybe a couple weeks before uh, before our the prom, end of the school year. Our prom is usually the first weekend in May, and then graduation is usually the first weekend in June. So about a month. We had something different out here. We had grad night. Did you have grad night? We had senior lock-in. Where'd you go for that? Did you get locked in the school? The high, yeah, we got locked in the school. And we could bring, like, rollerblades, and we were allowed to rollerblade up and down the hallways of the school. Wow, and they had lawsuit. food. And uh, they kept us there. We, we got to stay all night. We stayed all night locked in the what? in the high school. And they did, did movies. Up- and, like, it was fun. It, we no all good? went. It was fun. Were you up to no good? No, we were in the school. Wow, that is crazy. That is that is punishment. Our grad night, our grad night, it's on graduation day. You graduate, you get on a bus, and they bus you down to Disneyland right around 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Do you go to grad night? No. 10 or 11 o'clock at night until like 2, 3 in the morning. All the merchandise in Disneyland changed. The stuffed animals now had um, hats, caps, and gowns on it. Like all the Mickeys and stuff had, had grad <laughs> night stuff on it. Really super neat. They really did it up. All the clubs were open. You could go ride the rides. It was a complete at night Disneyland. It was super awesome. But it's not like just your classes there. It's your class and every other single class, Frito, at right. night. And I'm sure that goes on for like a month or so. But yeah, so we, we would go to Disneyland for grad night and um, do that. But they did have like specific Mickey Mouse stuff for grad night. I think somewhere had ears that had a tassel on it from, right from disneyland for grad night so we had that but we didn't have no lock-in bash like you did yeah yeah we had senior lock-in and it that was it was pretty cool and it was senior lock-in was usually the what the night before night before graduation basically what it was they do senior lock-in because they didn't want everybody going out and getting drunk so that was like their you should just come to the school and they throw a big party to stop people from going out drinking and driving in the woods <laughs> sarah's richter said um ooh, working grad nights at disneyland as a cast member so bad i want i'm curious i you say a lot of interesting stuff sarah I, I i need to know more about this stuff like like i need to know more about working grad night because it was like 11 o'clock at night i mean it was dark and it was after hours after they cleared out the park and right. they completely transformed it on that i still as much as that's a unique thing that like not many people would do in you're in california i would trade it all right. for your traditional experience of high school that i saw growing up that i expected that didn't happen right and going on the bus and i only remember i went to both proms i only remember one of my two proms i don't remember my other prom and i have my prom book over here with all my prom pictures in it i don't remember where i went for the other prom i don't right. wow that's funny. I might have to reach out to my first girl. You think the girl that I dated back in the day would would that I haven't talked to in like twenty years would want me to like reach out to her to figure out what the other prom was? I, I just want to remember where prom was. Our prom was at the Armory, and the theme was the Titanic. Oh, did you have the Heart of the Ocean? Yeah, I don't know. Which one? Okay, who was Jack and who was? What's her I name? I don't remember her name. Did, oh my gosh, that's great. Yeah, you and I've seen I've seen some of your your prom pictures. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Uh, Brianna with the super chat. Um, no, it was amazing. No, it was amazing. It was beautiful. We had a great food. Prom was amazing. Greg, Greg, Nate. I think she meant grad night. Grad night was at Disneyland. Yeah. See, so if you lived out here in SoCal, every, everything was was at grad night. And, and Disneyland was packed. It was packed just like it was a regular day. So there was a lot of right. schools that were, were there. Um, same with junior high. At the end of your eighth grade year, if you didn't get enough demerits, do you know what a, do you know what a demerit is? Like, like, like no. you'd start the school year with a hundred percent demerit points. And if you did something bad, they'd write you up something on a piece of paper, like a speeding ticket. And it would take your um, citizenship grade down. So if you could keep oh your citizenship gosh. grade up, you got to get on a bus and go to magic mountain. Yeah. yeah no, we didn't have that. Oh man. Imagine what if, what if your school took you to Cedar point? Well, we'd be, we're too far away from, uh, from Cedar are. point to do that. We're about <laughs> by car. We're about 35 minutes from magic mountain by bus. It's like an hour and something. And that hill that I was telling right. you, we'd go over our school bus. It was a yellow school bus broke down a little bit. So the school bus driver pulled over 
and I'm sitting three or four seats back on the yellow school bus. And she gets up and starts walking towards the aisle. And she didn't put it in park or whatever. And the bus started rolling backwards. I'm not even kidding. Oh the bus gosh. started rolling. And she ran back and she like hit it. We had to transfer buses and stuff like that. And But they let you loose. They let you loose at the theme park for a bunch of hours. So living in SoCal has a little bit of perks. But like I said, I would right. still trade it all to have a traditional prom like you. Yeah, I had a pretty traditional high school. And that was... It was pretty much everything you see on TV. That's pretty much what it was. <laughs> right, right. Oh, that is that is that is crazy. Wow, that was a lot. Of, oh, um, Kit, Catrit, Catrit, Cat. Man, my reading comprehension's going downhill. With the super <laughs> chat. Um, what about senior pranks? I knew a kid in my town who let loose chickens at the high school. Oh, we had goats at our high school, and it was on a Friday over the weekend. Several died. Ooh, cleanup was so bad. I bet that. Um, they. I remember being in high school during the end, and people were trying to run around with balloons with shaving cream in there, and the, I just remember the staff running around trying to stop it. I'm like, yeah. just, why are you trying to stop it? Um, but it was nowhere near like what you see in the the um like the high school movies where the you know the kids at the very top of the three story school building which all our schools were flat and throwing party right. flyers over the things and emptying out lockers and stuff no i didn't have that you sound like you're more traditional like the movies did you have senior pranks and stuff we had on um, the last day of school everybody would get um coolers and water guns and you would try to load up your car and you would hide them in the trunk of your car and i had a pickup truck so I had a pickup truck with a cap on it, and you couldn't really see inside of it. And I loaded the entire back of my truck with coolers full of water balloons and squirt guns. And I tried to get back onto campus. I don't remember if I was picking up Greg. Somebody, I was supposed to be picking somebody up, and they wanted to look inside my truck before they would let me on. to. And I'm like, nope, nope. Nope. And it wasn't like I could call Greg on a cell phone and be like, maybe over here they're going to get everything out of my truck. Oh, <laughs> but man. I think... We ended up finding him. I think I sent Jay. I don't remember who I was picking up, but either way, we sent somebody to go get whoever we were picking up. And then we all went to um, the duck park and had a big water balloon fight and squirt gun fight. So we did do that. But I don't remember if it was our senior year or not, but somebody stole Big Boy because we still have a Big Boy. Like, like. Somebody, like, yeah, the Big okay. Boy. Somebody stole Big Boy and put it on the roof of our high school. This is why I can't be a waiter because the tray would just fall off my hand. <laughs> Um, and you know what? And I get it. Like, yes, I want everybody to senior prank, but we are such jerks in high school that there'd just be shaving cream and silly string you know, everywhere. And silly string, somebody silly string my room one time. I left it up there for the weekend and it never, it never came off my ceiling. It never came off the stuff. It was there permanently. So I, 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 I get that. I, I get that. So good, good question. Thank you. Um, I feel like your high school experience was more like dazed and confused. <laughs> And ours yeah. was super locked down. Like you just couldn't do anything fun like that. I felt we I had an open. We had an open campus, so we were allowed to uh, drive. You could drive yourself to school, and we were allowed to leave. We were only supposed to leave at lunchtime, but if you were faster than the security guard, you could make it out to your car. <laughs> You could usually get out of the parking lot. Now they actually have it gated off. Because yes. I had, uh, I had our, a free hour. In, yeah, I had a free hour and uh, Jamie had a free hour. So there were times when, you know, we were able to leave because we didn't have class that hour. So you could always go out there and tell the security guards that, you know, you had a free hour. But the yeah. problem was, is eventually they would figure it out that you really didn't have one. I mean, we did, but they would figure it out eventually. But, yeah, we had an open campus. We could come and go as we pleased. And Dang. Ours was much, a little bit open. Like, easy. Um, my high school, like I said before, shares a, uh, a funeral, no, uh, graveyard. Oh, right. And like I said before, it, it was really inspiring to look out the window in biology class and look at the graves to see, like, why does this matter? Like, that's where I'm going anyway. So you can just come and go as you want. I had to go get transcripts for some grants that I was working on for some school stuff. So I went over to my old high school. It is locked down with the black fences, you know, curved in. Inside the front office, there's plexiglass everywhere with the bats, and you can't be buzzed in and out at all. There is straight up LAPD that walk our campus there all the time because of how crazy it is so yeah you you are not getting in and out at all there Ooh, Liz says i went to cedar point for eighth ninth and tenth grade see so that would be rad if you would have young jess would have loved that 
Yeah, it, well, and, you know, depending on the schools, because I went to, like I said, I went to a private school when I lived in Detroit, so we didn't get to do that. I did get to go to Washington, D.C., though. I went to Gettysburg in Washington, D.C. in eighth grade. That, yeah, was, that, our, that was our eighth grade class trip. Oh, it wasn't punishment? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you, uh, Brianna with the super chat. Um, our senior prank was to bring our dogs to school. You imagine that chaos? That would be crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so crazy. Um, now, Dan, what was your prom thing? Mine was called "I Had the Time of My Life." I don't remember my high school proms thing th- theme, but I remember my junior high prom theme, and it was a whole new world because uh, Aladdin had just come Aladdin. out. So yep. it was a whole new world, and I thought I was the um, and there's a video of it somewhere, but I'm sure that video camera footage is gone because this was in 1993 i think um i took it world and turned it upside down to m so it said a whole new world and i thought it was the funniest thing ever (laughs) i remember telling my sister leslie like look 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 i did that and she's like okay so uh, we had a whole new world um in in junior high but in high school i don't know if there was really a theme or not there was colors but it was the school colors but i don't know if it was a theme or not Hmm. right so, um, did substitute teacher, uh, uh Garvey teach at your school? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we had senior skip day. Okay. So they, they do that. Did you we go had, to the White we House? We had senior skip day. Did you go to the White House, Jess? Yes. Yeah. Did you go inside Yeah, it? when we, yes. What did yep. it smell like? Cause to me, it smells like an old library. Look like, it looks I don't like remember. A... So long ago. I don't remember. We went to the White House. We went to the Lincoln Memorial. We went to like, it was so eighth grade. All through seventh and eighth grade, we had to like sell Morley's chocolate candies and all these different things to raise money for our eighth grade class trip. And in eighth grade, it was, I believe it was four full days and the whole class went. Now, mind you, my eighth grade class was a whole whopping 15 kids. Wow. (laughs) In Detroit, 15 kids. There was hundreds Um, of mine. Yeah, they had, we had 15 kids in the eighth grade class. I believe it was 15 exactly. And we all got to go. So we all raised enough money to go. And we went to, first we went to Gettysburg. And like, I, and I'm a Civil War buff. Like we got to go to Little Round Top. We got to go, we got to stand out on these fields and see all this. It was amazing. I, I That's one place I'd really like to go back to is, is Gettysburg. Um, and then we went to Washington, D.C. And we spent a couple of days there. And we went to all the different buildings. And I have pictures and pictures somewhere of all of that but how did you get it, there it, a bus we took a bus hold on that take not that long from detroit to dc it's not that far wow that's crazy you guys spent the night there and stuff we spent the night i believe we spent the night in pennsylvania and then we went to dc and we spent two nights there if i remember correctly Man, i really wish i could find my eighth grade class photo it's in the back bedroom but i don't know if i could get to it or not right it's it's literally it's this wide and there's hundreds of kids there that is so crazy like okay i need to know more about this stuff because i've only seen this like on tv i think richard grieco had some sort of high school movie that he was in where they went and spent the night on a class trip somewhere like you shared a room with like a lot of people and stuff and like a chaperone and like yep yep my my mom was one of the chaperones on the trip as well so my mom came with us but yeah a couple of the kids parents came and then we all had we all had, every every room had a chaperone in the room and we all had um we would share rooms and stuff yeah it was i don't i remember bits and pieces of it it was a really long time ago but i remember it was fun that's kinda, i remember that's kind of cool yeah but like i said we had a small a small class so it wasn't mm, like we went there was on a at trip least with 100 30 people. in every one of my classes they try yeah. to they try to do this thing where for, for a while there they wouldn't let any class sizes be over 22 people and that lasted like a year but even when Brent right. was in high school uh there was yeah, less 30 kids in the class like it, it was chaos like the teacher could not keep control of the class at all that is right. crazy that is crazy you really had a made back over there 105 in our senior class uh, my daughter's graduating class is 1179. Holy cow. Yeah, that's like I said, if I could somehow find that picture, right? Uh, there's a hundred of us in just junior high alone from just, and that's only eighth yeah. grade. That yeah, we have 15 in eighth grade. And then I think when I moved up here, we were the largest freshman class starting at the high school in the history of the high school up here. And I think there was like, 600 uh, jamie would know i think it was like 658 in the freshman class and i think our graduating class that year like some people left and stuff like that i think it was almost 600 people when we graduated in 98 oh 
That's so crazy. Uh, but I went from this little tiny private school in Detroit to this, what for me was a massive high school. Wow. That's so small. That is so small. Yeah. Dan, in a class photo, did anybody get away with flipping the bird? Oh, man, I got to go find this picture. I have it. It's framed. It's really big. It's just in this back room in the closet. Uh, can you? Okay. Thank you. Um, I don't know, but they really warned us about it. They really warned us that you could not do that. And they combed it. The thing is, though, they shot us all in the sun. Like, they made us go out there, and they were on a ladder. Because, you know, you have to shoot on the 45 to get everybody. Right. And we have bleachers there. And I'm facing the sun, so we're all squinting. We're all, like, super squinting. So I don't know. That is a good That is a good question. That is a good question. I, I Chris, I want to go find it. So I can show right. you guys. But there was, a, there was a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of people. My high school is really small, around 220 students. That is amazing. You guys, you guys should really like take it, like be be appreciative. I mean, there's so many kids in the class that like we were just like doing whatever the heck we wanted. I we were pushing up the ceiling tiles and throwing all the class copies of the books up there, and the teachers didn't care. Like you just you could do whatever you wanted, and, and there was just not enough parental authority to the, or learning or learning. Right, right. I don't know. I wonder if I have mine on Facebook. My, my class was a little over 500 kids. Man, I tell you what, when you go to a graduation, um, they usually have like the Jayhawk Stadium or something like that. When you go to the graduation, it's hours and hours long. Oh my gosh, Crystal's a savior. Thank you so much. Oh, this is... By the way, my Oh my gosh. Here. Right, this was <laughs> class of 1993, right? And then like, let me just like, let me just give you a shot of this real quick. Look at the green grass is green screen. Look at that. That is just eighth grade. Wow. And that is not all the eighth graders that are there. Can you, uh, can you pick out which one's Dan sitting right there with the Pittsburgh <laughs> Penguins shirt on right in the front row there? Yeah, right. Right in the front row. With the Pittsburgh Penguins shirt on guys in 1993 when hockey wasn't eat, like I couldn't even watch Pittsburgh Penguin games. I love hockey. I love my Penguins that much back then, but there I am. It's kind of blurry. There I am sitting right there at the black shirt, just sitting in the front row squinting with my other friend in the San Francisco 49ers jacket. His name was Dan also. Um, but yeah, so this was eighth grade and uh look at all those kids so i don't think that there was anybody really flipping the birds or anything but everybody was making lemon face because we were being shot into the sun but look at nobody that. wanted to be out there we're yeah. like we don't want to be out here yeah. yeah i mean look i mean look at i don't have a banana i guess my head could be a banana for comparison but that is a that is a picture that is a picture crystal said they didn't even do anything like that when she was young oh. no Ew. this is like a little rotten, but it's a banana for sale. <laughs> here, here. thank banana. you, thank you. But yeah, when I look over here, I don't see anybody flipping the birds or anything. I just think angry faces. Oh my gosh, Michael Bowie. Oh man, so many memories. Memories. Wow. But yeah, so there you go. Look at that. That's probably more than your whole school had. And this was, like I said, this was just eighth grade. Oh, I'm sure that was more than my oh, whole oh. entire school okay, had. Check it out. We were on year-round school. You know what that is? So we had no. year-round school here, right? Year-round school here is where you go for three months, then you're off a month. You go for three months, you're off a month. You go for three months, you're off a month. No summer vacation, right? Really? Yes. So if your parents loved you, and there was four tracks. There was yellow track, green track, red track, blue track. If your parents loved you, they would spend the night in the parking lot outside the junior high so they could get you on red track and blue track. You get two weeks off for Christmas. Red track's month off would be before the two weeks for Christmas. So you'd get six weeks. Blue tracks would be two weeks for Christmas and then a month off. So you'd get six weeks. Green track oh was pretty good in the middle. Oh, green track got to start a month later into the school year. So they actually got a longer summer. Then there was the parents That's that didn't insane. care, which was yellow track right here. Yellow track got the worst of it. I got no good holidays, nothing bumped up against anything at all. So this was just yellow track. Um, between seventh and eighth grade, I got two weeks off before, before seventh and eighth grade. You oh know. my gosh yes so yeah so th that's how many kids were out here <laughs> so there's a lot there's at least 100 kids in that picture that's too many kids i, I do know. have the picture on my facebook and if i share my screen yes if you share your screen stuff will pop up okay let me hold on hold on hold on hold on i got this i got this yeah and also i can uh, if you're gonna share your screen i can go ahead and uh i was i was gonna show it to you from my phone but then i'm like wait that's gonna be all glary glary is that a word yeah, glary sure, glarish it's, glary. it's, a, it's a word it's a word now yeah, yeah. Came when, out of, once you get came out of, here, out of my can, mouth it's now a word 
Okay, good. Yeah. I'm yeah. looking. Okay, I'm cool. looking. I'm looking. I'm finding it. When you do, let me know, and I can. Uh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! I can make it. I can make it bigger. Uh, okay. I found it. Oh my god! I have every single class photo from kindergarten Holy through cow. eighth grade. That's crazy. Well, how did you get those? Just from your mom? Because like I don't know. I think my mom's got some stuff from me, but I don't. I don't know where those pictures are. I don't know. But here, let me do. Is it this? And then this ah here we go okay now let me see if i work? can make this bigger there we go can you see it because now i can't see what we're looking yes, at yes yes so i can see it so you're great you're, you're you're perfect okay that's kindergarten that's my entire kindergarten class where are you because i don't see anybody with a hat on right there oh there you are oh my gosh look at those <laughs> bangs holy cow did you lose a bet <sighs> it was the freaking 80s yeah, this is. Oh, the class got bigger apparently in first grade. Wow, where did I get these? I must have got these from my mom. Wow, that's good quality too. Right there. Yep, right there. Our class photos were more like because I would get class photos, but they were more like the ones you see over there, where you just would stand with the whole class in one room, and then right. the, the little board with the little peg numbers on there would 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 say that. Right. Oh, there. Right there. So we were looking for eighth grade though, because this is what that's third grade. Hold on, there, right there. I had crimped hair. I had crimped hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, here we got to make this bigger for everybody. Uh, there we go. Wait, where are you? There you are. <laughs> <laughs> there. Okay, that looks just like you. I know. Isn't that crazy? Were you just uh, as Were you just as fiery as you are now back then? Oh yeah. So fourth grade, I'm over here in the corner. Oh man, the hairdos! I miss the hairdos and the scrunchies. The scrunchies are back though. Right, fifth grade, down here in the corner. Oh my gosh, look at you! That looks that's great. That looks just like you. Oh my god. Sixth grade, down here. I had crimped hair there too. My mom must oh, have liked the, the hair bangs. crimper. Look at the flipped up. The, oh my gosh. Right. I guess hair. it was the '90s, early '90s. Oh, Where's right it? here. No crimped that hair. Was oh yeah, there it is. Seventh grade. Seventh grade, and then this was my entire eighth grade class. Oh, where are oh, you? Right there. Oh my! So, oh my! Gosh. How many? So Hold on, I want to these make it were bigger. that was Father Leo. That was our principal, Sister Jan, and then these were our teachers. This was my computer teacher. We actually had a computer class. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's oh fourteen kids gosh. in my eighth grade class. Oh my gosh! Look at you. Isn't that crazy? Oh, did you like anybody in your class? I got all kinds of pictures in here, really. Look at that's me and my sister. <laughs> oh no, what, what? That, you can't get away with that these days. Look at, that's my dog. Oh, it is. Who's that? Yeah. That was Whiskey. No, who's that baby? Here, me! We gotta make this smaller now so we can all see it. Oh. Yeah, that was me, that was my dog. This, Everything this, was so itchy back then. He's the reason that I that I loved yeah, dogs. I was looking to see prom. There it is, prom photo. Yes, that's the one I th that's the one I see with Jamie. That looks yep. like Anthony Edwards from ER. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Uh, that is so crazy. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I have any. I p I was on the basketball team even though I was short. I, was, I don't think I had. This was the bus. This was the Washington. That's the bus we oh, were okay. on. All right. Oh wow. Okay. What's small? See, because when you when you when you describe it, like I I imagine it being all these people going on a on a trip. I didn't. You know, there's nope. twelve people there. It's like a family vacation almost. Right. What is this? Eighth grade. That's my eighth grade classroom. We had to wear uniforms because I was at a private school. Dang. Yep. Wow. You have all this stuff, and it's all digitized. Yep. That's pretty right. cool. I gotta keep track of it. Oh man, that's so funny! All right, let me go. Let me see if I can get back to here. Ah, there we go. Did that work? Uh, now, I, now, you, now you got to share your screen with me again. Oh, do I? Okay. I think so. Can you see now? Yeah. Okay. Dang, that's crazy. That is crazy. That you have all that. I love it. Isn't that nuts? I love it with the crimped <laughs> with the crimped hair. That's so fun. That's so fun. Here, let me put you back where you were at. That's close enough. Uh, right that's great. Oh my gosh. 
it's cool seeing old pictures looking back. It is definitely cool to see old pictures looking back, especially the one you used there with the with the dog. Like everything is itchy back then. That itchy couch, yeah. the itchy blanket, the itchy floor, the orange colors that are awful. Right. <laughs> wow. Oh, what a good que- what a good question. These are these are, these are fun. These are fun. Yeah. All right, let's go on to another question here. Um okay. uh, do Americans actually have lab partners or is it just something from the movies? Yeah, Blake complains about his lab partner all the time. Yep. Yes. I had a lab partner. Lab partners never work out, ever. No. <laughs> lab partners never, ever work out. It's just like group projects when they're like, we're going to make you do a group project in, oh, environmental science in high school. <laughs> we had to do a group project. And our group, pro- this is so horrible. Our group project was we had to explain how, like, your lungs work. That was our whole, like, we, there was three of us in the group, and we had to do this whole explanation, and they, like, wanted us to draw everything up and do it in the different colors and everything. So um, I did it all. <laughs> I pretty much did it all. And then we had to do the presentation, but I didn't want to do the presentation part, so I wrote a bunch of note cards, and I made one of the other people in our group actually read all the note cards, <laughs> which worked out really good. And we did so well that they made us do the presentation again for the advanced biology class because our, because our project was so good. And I'm like, (laughs) I did it all. (laughs) Yeah, Lab partners are a thing. So yeah, I guess they don't have lab partners in other countries. How about this one? Do Americans actually have yellow school buses or is that just a thing? A movie theme? Yeah. Yeah. I took what the other yellow color bus. would they be? I took the yellow bus, and when the yellow bus was too full, I had to wait for the other short bus to come, the struggle bus. And if you had to go on that short bus, you got made fun of. Right. You got made fun of if you had to take the struggle bus. So absolutely, which I liked it because it got you to school faster. But yeah, mm-hmm, absolutely, to and from school on, on the yellow school bus. That is a that is definitely that is definitely a thing. Yep. Lisa said, "I had a stoner for a lab partner. Was it me?" <laughs> I hate group projects. Blake, Blake's always complaining about his group project people in college. He's always complaining about yeah. it. Yes. He's like, I don't like them. Yeah, see, everybody else had lab partners. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, he said, uh, I won the regional gold medal for the eighth grade science fair. Nice. 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 What did you do? Did you put flowers in different uh, different colored water? <laughs> did Remember, you make Did you make a volcano? Did you make a volcano? Right. <laughs> did you uh, Did you test different popcorns to see which ones uh, pop the most kernels? <laughs> My science fair project was testing the pH levels of the soil throughout different counties in Michigan. Oh wow, that's actually elaborate. Yeah. Mine was yeah. A, mine was a last minute idea where I think I put medicine droppers inside Kool Aid and roll them around to a ball and make these little Kool Aid gummy dropper things and it was like about how molecules stick together or something. So I'm sure I did that. I'm sure I did that the night before it was it was due. Right. Is it a? Here we go. Uh, uh, why do Americans in films always sit on their counters to read newspapers or drink coffee? sit on their counters like up on the counters hmm no i don't think that one's applicable i'd have to get on a chair to get on the counter so (laughs) (laughs) why in shows and films do americans always go to the fridge and get a bottle of water and dramatically drink it in an argument because you get like you gotta stay hydrated if you're gonna be yelling and screaming all night but that one i don't feel like i see i don't see that one (gasps) oh did you watch shane dawson's video uh no does he have a new one out yeah, I haven't really been keeping up with him after after he did maybe Eugenia Cooley. Yeah, uh, which I seen her streaming on Twitch the other day. She actually was pretty popular on Twitch. I have not. What, what is he up to now? I didn't watch any of the Jeffrey Star stuff, which I like just fine. I just, I didn't watch any of the Jeffrey. Star I didn't stuff. only because like I, I like it. I, I don't you know I like them. That's just fine. But I just just didn't like. Yeah. you know, I was so taken away. He by was the talking. Chuck e. He was stuff. talking about the um the conspiracy theories behind Dasani Water. Ooh. And, like, how Dasani water is the only bottle water when you open it, it fizzes. Does it really? Uh, is there, do yeah. we still have Dasani water? No, that wasn't. What was it that we had over there? Was it Dasani? Yeah, I think so. We have a brand new one that's not open? Uh, that I don't know. Yeah, I think. I'll say, look, I, I have Dasani. I do. Do you have Dasani? I have one. Yeah, I have mm. one if you want me to go get it and prove it. Yeah, let's it's, do it. It's weird. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Well, you entertain the okay. masses because I don't think Jamie can hear me. I think he's got his door shut. That's fine. That's fine. Crystal's gonna look here. No, there's one left, but it's okay. Uh, find a bottle of regular no. water so we can compare. The one I I have regular water. I can, okay, I you can... find regular water. Okay, I'll be I do have back. a regular water one. 
uh, the Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory that we're behind on was talking about how Dasani fizzles when you open it. Oh, what? Dasani's the only water that like fizzles when you open it. I've never seen that before. What the heck kind of gases they're putting in there? Oh my gosh, those cuddle clones back there are just creeping me the heck out. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't want to drink Dasani. It tastes weird. I think I have that because um, I think we got it from Crystal's mom when the water stopped here. She, everybody was just giving us water, and I think that that was one of them. I have regular Seder Brothers water, which is just regular water. That, that's that's clear. But I've never seen that. I don't like Arrowhead water, people. I do not like Arrowhead water. It tastes like metal to me. Ugh. And no, it's not my ton ring that makes it taste like metal. It tastes like metal to me. So I don't like that. Um, I've always wanted to drink the Fiji water just because of how cool it looks. But I don't mind. I don't want Dasani. I think Aquafina is probably the Aquafina is probably the water that I drink the most. Well, why do Americans put ice in every drink, no matter how cold it is? You know what? Okay, so last night I was just thinking about this, Becky. Uh, I like stuff room temperature the older I get. But growing up and ev everything, like I had to put ice in everything. Everything needed ice to the brim. Everything needed to be with an ice cubes. But now that I'm older, things don't necessarily need to have ice in it. I've learned to like things more towards room temperature than when I uh, than putting ice cubes in it when I was younger. Yeah. Okay. So Jess has got Jess has got the water. I have just the regular water, which. Just looks like regular. Just looks like regular water to me. Okay. So what the theory was that if you open the Dasani, it bubbles. Yeah. Like there's a gas in there or something. You know how when you open a pop, it goes. Yeah. This does that. Let's see. You believe me? And then we'll compare the ingredients. See if I can get it to do it. I'm gonna. Well, okay. you're gonna hear the snap at the same time. Ready? Ready? Oh, you hear the snap more than you hear the fizz. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I wasn't able to hear anything. I wasn't able to hear yeah. anything off of that. Yeah. Hmm. And it tastes so weird. No, so I bought make Dasani water. Well. I only bought Dasani water because um, oh. this was actually all they had left at Meyer, and I don't normally buy it. But if you read the ingredients on it, yeah. What's, what's the What's the ingredients on your water? So mine says mine says purified water magnesium sulfate potassium bicarbonate potassium chloride how did i say all those words just fine <laughs> what what the heck was that i do have all of the same things in this one but this one also says purified by reverse osmosis Ooh, i think i have that on my on my hair dryer so the theory behind it is dasani water is really just tap water that they filter and put in a bottle is not that all water no, apparently some water, the ingredients actually say mountain spring water, and that's the only thing it says on it. Yeah, I think Sparklets or Arrowhead, one of them was in trouble for just bottling water. I don't mm -hmm. I don't imagine that. I mean, what are you going to do? You gonna, Who's that? <laughs> Kira. Uh, what are you going to do? Like, not everybody's, you know, at the base of mountains don't lie the bottling companies. Like, wh Right. So what was his theory? Because I didn't see it. So his theory was that it was just filtered water and then pushed in there with some air? So the theory is is yeah, no that hiss. Dasani oh, water no. adds because they also they add salt to the water, um, they add salt and magnesium sulfate and it's like kind of thick when you drink it and it it it's a little strange. The theory is is because Coca Cola makes Dasani water and right. Coca Cola buys out like um, movie theaters and uh, stadiums to where you can only get Coke products. Coke is worldwide. So, they're worldwide. They're bigger than Pepsi yeah. worldwide. So the conspiracy theory behind it is the stuff they put in Dasani water that, one, makes it fizz, two, makes it not actually quench your thirst but makes you actually want more water, Ooh. means when you're at those places and you buy your $4 bottle of water, you're not going to be satisfied and you're going to want to buy another $4 bottle of water. That's a stretch, but at the same time, it's not a stretch. Hmm. I don't know. Right? I don't know if drinking water has ever made me more th thirsty. Right. I don't mind the taste of any water tastes fine to me except for Arrowhead water. Arrowhead water tastes like I put a bunch of pennies in my mouth and then I drink a bunch of water. Otherwise, That's all the other water tastes, tastes like. fine. But see, and I was going back and forth between those and these throughout the weeks because only because we didn't have water. We usually don't buy bottled water. Right. But, but um, right. I had that case after the earthquake and then Patty gave us some, some Dasani. I didn't I didn't taste any different at all. Right. Hi. How are you? Hmm. Coca-Cola water, uh, Coca water is disgusting. I don't I don't right. taste the difference. I really don't. 
What does she it want? Tastes, it tastes metallic. Hi. Yes. How uh, the, are you? The what? What does the Dasani to you taste metallic? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, to me, it tastes okay. Um, it's the Arrowhead water that t- that tastes weird to me. Oh, huh, that's weird. No, I'll have to watch it. I'm I'm a little behind on the Shane Dawson stuff. He really peaked with me with the um the the Jake Paul stuff, and right. he really peaked with me with the. Uh, with the Pizza Hut's thing. I really loved the Pizza Hut... Sp- oh, no, I'm sorry, the um, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Conspiracy. Yeah, I really, yes. really like that. I've heard Dasani has the highest levels of sodium in bottled water. I love Dasani. That's- so so there you go. So more salt in the water. They showed people that actually did pH tests on a bunch of different bottled waters, and they're like, if it turns blue, that means it's, it's low acidity. If it turns yellow, it means it's high acidity. And Dasani turned yellow every time. It does say... Um, it does say purified by reverse osmosis does it Uh uh-huh yeah it would be foolish to think that only one of the companies is going to do that if they're all going to do that you know what i mean right wow that is crazy no i did not know that at all yeah Uh, yeah it was it was interesting it was an interesting so can i help you can i help you are you trying to steal the show here we go why do americans always eat meatloaf in films and tv what is meatloaf Oh my gross. gosh, it's is it microwave meatloaf? <laughs> oh man, you guys heard that microwave meatloaf story yesterday. Oof, that was bad. Um, I don't know. I guess you're right. It is. I, I do see meatloaf a lot. Like like yeah. when you see the when you see the weird family sitting down at the table with just the one light and it's shot from it's, a, it's like a wide viewed shot from afar where mom and dad look like they hate each other and then there's a brother yep. and sister there. Yeah, they're always having the big salad bowls in the middle and they're usually yep. eating some eating sort meatloaf. of loaf. Yes. Yep. And then again, we have unlimited tap water from the Great Lakes. Our, I just have usually a filter on the, on the fridge, so I don't. I'm not really that big of a bottled water person. So right. know, interesting. That is that is crazy. Um, last one. Why do uh, I wish Americans in movies would just stop comparing the length of things to football fields? That is true. They do. People are all like, <laughs> "How many football fields is that?" I think I do. You know what? I do that as well. There's something the other day. I was like, I don't know. It's like two football fields or something. But I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> so those are the crazy things that uh, that people think that we do in America that apparently people don't do everywhere else. Yeah, don't do everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. Can people I... said, people said, you're a fool if you leave your keys in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Here, let me let me move that out of the way there, so you can see Kira. Let me get that logo out of the way. She wants all of the love right now. All oh, of it. She no. wants all. Go ahead, face. Meatloaf is gross. I'm Canadian, so I eat I eat uh, poutine. Um, <laughs> I still have. I like meatloaf. Meatloaf's just fine if you have a good meatloaf. My mom makes a really good meatloaf. Yeah, Jamie likes. I don't like meatloaf. Jamie likes meatloaf. I like I meatloaf. I'm not a fan of ham. No. Nah, I'm not I a fan of I... ham. It's not something I want to eat all the time, but I don't mind it. Yes. I, uh, I don't know what what poutine is. Uh, Delicious. Yeah, it's good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've had I've had a form of it, but I, I don't want to claim that I've really had it because I haven't had, like, the real stuff. So I don't know. Right. Right. Yes. So um, anyway, so that was BuzzFeed. You guys should check out BuzzFeed if you guys want to see what character from Twilight you are based on uh, what cake you like. Weird. They always have some crazy stuff there. One of the one of the topics was was uh, check out to see if you could answer these ninth grade questions. And I was like, I'm not even smarter than a fifth grader. Like, I am not going and clicking on this thing to see if uh, I can guess these high school questions because it'll just make me cry a little bit inside. Right? You're like, ah, oh, I have to remember all this stuff. Yes. So now now we're at the last half of the show here where we will answer your questions. So if you guys have any questions or comments for us, put them in the chat right now. Are you copying and pasting that stuff that's coming up from us? Yeah. Oh, man, you're fast on those fingers. I didn't even see you flinch on that. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you guys for a little bit before we get out of here and let you guys go on with your evening. There's 125 of you in here. Thank you. Hello. Holy Welcome. Cow. Welcome. If you guys want to hear us every Wednesday, if you're just here on the YouTube page um, on your favorite music app, you can go to CC Mouse Podcast and you can subscribe to us. Right now, we're having a super duper merch sale. Uh, we're There's gonna a probably... link for that at the top of the chat. Yes. Um, code stay inside you get 25 percent off merch and a lot of people have bought the merch that is a really good discount code like that puts it down to pretty much cost like we don't get right. anything off of there it just covers your shipping and stuff like that just to get the merch out there you know just to get it out there i was working on dantix merch i got i got a mock-up back 
Oh yeah, yeah. You uh, were supposed to resend that to me. Um, I had to email it to you because it would not let me drag it, drag and drop it to you. Uh, so I sent okay. it to your email. So we're working on that. Check. So that'll be kind of fun. A uh, PNS yeah. Aviation said, "Hi, Dana. Just finally home from the airport. I saw P- uh, Ashton was didn't make it to Dantix last night. He's like, this is what I was doing, and it was just you know a shot of the airplane because he's a pilot, and the sunset <laughs> right. just looked beautiful." Oh my gosh, the sunset here last night was amazing. I walked into the office, I, I walked into Jamie's office and was looking outside and I'm like, why is the sky so purple? Yes. Uh, I didn't Dawson's take a said, picture. I should have taken a picture, but I didn't. Gotta try poutine. Yes, got, the, the poutine is definitely something that everybody should should have to have to try. I uh, I would rather be watching the sunset too as well rather than be on Dantix. Like It looks so beautiful <laughs> up there. So beautiful. He said he's going to take me on a plane, but man... I saw him hit the. I saw where he hit the end of his, the edge of his hanger where his plane goes and crushes his wing. Are you sure, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're taking me up there? <laughs> uh, what would you guys think of having a video podcast instead of just an audio podcast? Look at him setting us up. It's a lot of a lot of work. That's for, inside baseball. <laughs> a lot of work for Dan, but uh, yeah, definitely, I definitely would do it. I I really enjoy I really enjoy these video podcasts. I really enjoy interacting with the people. Yeah. I really yeah. enjoy that. Please do a video or live podcast only. Forget the audio one. <laughs> the audio one does okay. Definitely, definitely people know more how to use YouTube than how to work a podcast app, which is really simple. Simple. Right, right. But I enjoy this. I enjoy interacting with the people. I enjoy like being able to visually see. When we record the audio podcast, we don't see each other at all. Nope. Uh, we don't see nope. each other at all. Nope. Nope. So yeah, anyway, if you guys have anything to say, people keep coming in here. We're up to 130 people. Hi, everybody. <laughs> like I said, go grab some merch if you want to support us, if you want to be a part of uh, streaming Sundays. I don't know. Sundays have been the best day so far of streaming out of yeah. all the days that we've tried. We've tried Friday and Saturday, and we get less than half the views that are in here right now. Right. Outdoors uh, with Eric is in here. Hey, Eric. What's up, dude? Uh, Jess, can you still drive around and go for walks? And Dan, can you too? I can, yes. They said they were closing the beach and the trails. Um, but you can still get to all the trails, but I was told not to go, so I won't. But yes, they said that we can go out and have and do our things as long as we stay with the people that you're quarantined with and away from everybody right. else who doesn't want to, you know, that that's that you're not supposed to be around. But yes, we are not like I don't have to stay home. I can still go out. I can still go to places. Right. You know, I can I can still do stuff like that. We uh, our governor's insane. <laughs> right. Uh, yes. We're. It depends on how you interpret the stay at home order because it says that we're not allowed to go out and drive anywhere, but then it says we're allowed to go out and drive if it's for an outdoor activity or like, of course, if you're going to the grocery store or something. So like, is jeeping an outdoor activity? I would say yes. Is riding your four wheeler an outdoor activity? I would say yes. Is boating an outdoor activity? Well, yes, but you can only go boating if your boat doesn't have a motor because apparently you congregate more on a boat if it has a motor than if it doesn't have a motor. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just staying home because I don't want to get arrested. <laughs> I like motor boating. I'll... <laughs> So I don't know why, why she would take that away. It was a little, it was a little shock because Jess and I, Jess and I don't all, always share the same opinions on things. Surprise, 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 <laughs> surprise. Um, and it was a little alarming to see that Walmart video of like things that are just straight blocked off that you can't buy right now. Yep, you can't buy in the big box stores. We are not allowed to buy paint flooring furniture seeds any gardening stuff um and the problem with it is a lot of the big box stores when they're blocking things off like it's not like they can just take the seeds off the shelf and hide them and take the stuff in the back it's not like they have a place to put all this stuff so they're like using caution tape and blocking things off but they're doing it in a way like a lot of the walmarts are also blocking off all of their barbecue supplies because it's just in that section and it's just easier for them to say you can't buy anything in this section of the store but it only applies to big box stores so like which is also why it doesn't make sense to me i can still go to the ace hardware and buy paint because ace hardware is not a big box store but i can't go to home depot and buy paint but if I'm going to home, it just doesn't make sense to me. None of it makes sense. That's why we've been making all those jokes of what's allowed and what's allowed. You can you can't have a boat with a motor yeah. in it, but you can you can be your own motor and have a kayak and yeah. yeah. And somebody said, um, what about like planting and stuff like that? You can't even get seeds. Um, you can't buy them from like Meyer and Walmart and Home Depot. A lot of the smaller nurseries, sadly, have are closed. 
So some of them that are open are now doing like curbside service. Like you can call and tell them what you want and they, they're doing curbside service. So they're finding ways around it, but it's just really, it's really strange to me because a lot of people aren't going to the store just to buy those things. Like they're buying those things while they're buying other things. So if I'm already in the store, what difference does it make if I grab one other thing, you know? Okay. So I grabbed all my groceries. Now I want to run over here and I want to buy the one lady was showing videos of like all the um, like beanbag chairs and pillows and things like that. She's like, so I can't buy a beanbag chair for my kid. And then she spins her camera and she goes, but I can buy this stuffed animal. This doesn't make sense. They're right next to each other on the shelf. If I just want to grab this, I can't. And I'm like, it's just weird. Like I get it. I get the stay at home thing. I get all that, but the limiting things and everybody's like, Oh, it's going to stop people from shopping. But it's not stopping anybody from shopping. You're not stopping the people that aren't stoppable. You're not stopping yes, the people exactly. that aren't stoppable. I'm stoppable. I stay yeah. in my house. I have my I've been mask. staying home. I mean, you know, I went to Meyer for the first time in 16 days. Um, our Meyer is closing at 10 o'clock. So we waited till it was 730 when we left. And uh, we went and there was nobody there. Yeah, there you, was went, like you went after the, after the COVID clocked out and went home. Then you yep. went. There was 15 cars in the parking lot. I was able to go through the whole store, get everything I needed. I saw nobody the whole time I was there. It was great. I'm like, this is kind of cool. There's nobody here. And, you know, I got everything I needed and I got enough food. I don't think I have to go back to the store again for at least another two weeks, you know. But there was stuff that we were low on that I definitely needed, but there was nobody there. So, you know, it's I'm, I'm doing this the right things as well. And then I'm watching our governor make all these new rules going, this is straight. But... You know, her her gardener is still coming to her house, and the lawn at the Capitol building is still being cut but because can't. our lawn. She's determined um, that our lawn services are non-essential. So, like, I have a friend of mine who actually has a YouTube channel on here, and he does he does lawn work. He's a landscaper. His business is now non-essential. He can't him and his wife run this business together. It's just him and his wife. They can't come to your house outside of your house and cut your grass for you because it's non-essential. You don't have to go outside while they cut the while they cut your grass. They're just coming and cutting your grass. But everybody's like, "Oh, it's because they go to the gas station." Well, but yeah, you pump the pump at the gas station, you wipe the thing down, you're good to go. Like that you don't you don't have to go inside to pay for gas. Like it's just really weird the things that she's she says is non-essential. And for those of you that don't live in Michigan, and I'm not trying to be political, the really interesting thing about it is, you know, Michigan. We got Lower Peninsula and Upper Peninsula. Yeah, I saw the heat there's, map. Yeah, there's 23,000 cases in Michigan, and like 20,000 of them are right here. So yes. the whole state can't do anything, but all, all the cases are right here. Whereabouts on your palm does it just completely stop? And there's oh, just right here. and there's just oh, nothing right. from there up. It's just nothing. Yeah. Uh, where oh, your right pinky here. goes, oh, what what's what city is that? Which one? Where your pinky would be. Traverse City. Oh, and my map, it's fallen into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the big lake. The you big can't lake. get, I can't show you where it's at on, on mine. Um, yeah, so at first I was like, you're going a little bit crazy. And then you started showing me all this stuff and I'm like, wow. Even here in Los Angeles where the mayor's like, dude, we're going to be locked down like a lot longer than we think no matter what uh, Trump says. I, we, we're not as restricted as you. Yeah, I don't under, I don't know why she's doing it. And like I said, the the weird part is is she's locking down the entire state when twenty thousand of our twenty three thousand cases are literally in three counties in Michigan. Like, I, it would make more sense to me if like they kind of put more maybe more restrictions on those areas because that's where it's exploding. Like, there's certain states right now where the whole states don't have a lockdown; only certain counties and certain cities do because that's where the hot spots are. And I feel like that's what needs to be done more than telling everybody that they, we have one case in our county, one. We do, we do have one now. I think as of last week, we had none. Now we have one. There's five tests outstanding, but we have one positive case and they've done like 90 tests in our county. We have 30,000 people in our county. There's nobody here. That's like, nobody, you get that on yeah. the video. Like that's, there is nobody in your county yeah, there's nobody here. It, 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 that is that is a little little crazy. Yeah. Even though we have different, you know, varied opinions, I'm like, Oof, man, that's like that's gonna kind of piss off the masses real quick. A PJ with the super chat said, "My dad paid for tons of worms." Then the motor rule. I don't know what that last part means. But so, 
for fishing. So he bought worms to go fishing sure, because you, you, can, you, you know, exactly. You use worms to, for hooks to go fishing. And now that's the other thing. Like you're telling people they can't go fishing for their own food. Like, I, and so many people are like, it's April. Nobody's going fishing. Yeah, they are. They're, as soon as the ice is off the lake, they're going fishing. That's they what these guys do. They were fishing when I was there. They were digging holes in the ice and they were fishing. Yeah. Just yep. like Walter Mathel did in Grumpy Old Men. It was like, yes, definitely. Yeah. So, so now they've been told they can't go fishing to feed their own families, which is just weird. Who congregates on a – you're not taking a pontoon boat out and having a party when you're taking a fishing boat out. No, that's like, something you would do out here. That's something right? that you would, you, exactly. you, would, you would do out here. Um, uh, Trish said, the fines here in Scotia for not following the rules is $1,000. So if I went to the beach, I could get fined $1,000. You could get fined Same. out here. In the Philippines, yep. they're straight told to shoot the people if they don't want to stay inside. I saw that, yeah. And the that's fine, where the fine Jess here gets is shot. $1,000. Good thing you're not over there, Jess. <laughs> um, uh, Drea Kitty Husky said something earlier what do you guys do to cure the like stay at home blues this this right here this, this is for you guys this is for us yep. this is for us right now things are normal and this little square box right here things yep. things are normal things are normal right now I'm going yep. a little crazy they extended it until the middle of next month and that was the first time where I started feeling a little bit just like oh man like that is a, like a lot of a lot of days for us that just means that we can just be productive and busy but we're still human beings right. like i still just i'm such an extrovert i Me am too. <laughs> such an extrovert and and i i'm, I'm going i'm going a little bit a little, little bit crazy so yeah so I, things like this we kind of go through our waves as well like there'll be days where i'm i'm sitting here working and i literally like we have our little group chat and i'm sending messages to like you in the group chat and i'm like i'm not okay like right now i like earlier today i think i sent a message and all it said was i miss my mom and dad because it's Easter and I feel like we're supposed to be there. Like, you know, I, I can tell Jamie knows that I'm really on edge today because everything has been like, he keeps coming in and giving me a hug. And I'm like, I keep looking at him going, cause I'm still that person that's like, why are you touching me? <laughs> that's still that like, what's going on? So like all day today, he's been like really sweet and stuff because he knows that in the back of my mind, I know where I'm supposed to be. It's Easter. We're supposed to be with our family. We're supposed to be doing these things. So like today, about midday, after I got off the phone with my mom, um, I was like, this sucks. This just sucks. This sucks. So I, you know, I think we all go through the waves and like, this is one of those things. Like I looked forward to this all day. I looked forward to your Dantic show last night because it's just that feeling of normal. Yes, you know bits. that feeling of being back to something that's just regular, and that's you know that's what this has become now too. It's like Sunday night. I know we're gonna do this. You know, tomorrow morning. I know we're gonna podcast. Like the normal things that we can still kind of do are the things that I think keep us going. Plus, I just work like an insane person. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people, people have different coping mechanisms. Yours is just more work, which isn't a bad thing. Becky said, I mean, we can still go out, but that's not the point. Like, that's not it. And I still feel weird going out. Like, I don't, I, I just want to go see people. Joel right. and I were supposed to be at WonderCon for the whole week in Disneyland and stuff like that. Like, yeah. and even if you don't talk to these people, interact with these people, just being around the people for me a lot of people love being inside love being inside right. i i am going i am going i am going a little bit crazy but to combat that you just have to just just know it's never it's not going to be forever it's not going to yeah. be forever you just kind of try to not lose your mind and you got to try to figure out a way to it's like a bad breakup or something like like it's right. everything sucks and after a little bit you're like well that's just the new norm and then now well, we're going on i am thinking that i was a little bit fortunate even though i'm going crazy with all this housework stuff because that has distracted me from the stuff when i was right. looking for topics and stuff i ran across some news articles that started making me a little bit bummed out so then i i shut it down right um, so you just gotta figure out a way to do the things that you would do if you just if you just were stuck at home like you are now and read a book and stuff but i still i still feel that brick on my head i still feel yep. the brick on my head watch this <laughs> but that's it we're here to try to bring you the laughs we're trying to bring you the funnies we're trying to take your mind off of it we're people we're just people too so i do go i am i am going a little bit a little bit crazy yeah yeah i think that it's it's to the point now where like today today was hard Today, I just wanted to leave. I'm like, I just want to go somewhere. I just want to go. I like, I want to go anywhere. And then like, there was the thing, oh, the UP is going to get nine to 25 inches of snow. I read that this morning. I looked at Jamie and I'm like, I'm going to go up north. 
He's like, we can't go up north. I'm like, we could. I'm like, we have enough gas. We could go all the way up there. We could see the snow. We don't have to stop at any gas stations. And we could just come home. And he's like, we can't. We can't do that. No, because like, the minute well, you leave and you cross could. that Dane Bridge, they're going to be like, all right, that's it. You can't come back right? to the bridge. Bridge is closed. And then you're oh, stuck dang. up there where there's no cars. <laughs> oh, I'd be stuck in the UP. We just have to go stay with Jamie's dad. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. So, um, uh, is that at that one? No, no. That, that's a different house that we went to. Yeah. So yeah. it just, it just gets. It, 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 you just gotta deal with it. After this, yep. I'll do. I got some work and stuff to do, and then I don't know. I'll, I'll like watch a movie, or I'll, I'll figure out something else to do. The house is in disarray, but it's. I just. I've been go trying not... so hard to like get things organized in the house, like even in the office, and I don't know why it's been the hardest thing for me to do out of everything. Like, I keep going. Wow, I. I mean, you know, it's not like I have extra time. I'm still doing all the same things I would be doing anyway. I know a lot of people are out of work and they have free time. I don't really have free time. I still have to do all the same things that I had to do before. So, but in the back of my mind, I feel like on the weekends when we're normally like doing a lot of things, I'm like, okay, well, we're not doing those normal things. So I kind of have free time. So I'm like, I'm going to organize this and I'm going to get these things done. And I start, even this office, I start, I work for five minutes, and I'm like, I don't want to do this. This isn't what I want to do. And I just, there's a box there, there's a box there, there's some boxes over. There's some My Little Ponies on a shelf over there that are actually organized. <laughs> yes, that's true. I did, I, did, I, did see, I did see a picture of that. Um, here, Here's a good thing that we can do for you guys, and it's try to bring you the free. Like I said, Slayton's free for seven days with no credit card. Go watch all the stuff that you wanted to binge watch that you can't. HBO Go it has a bunch of free stuff for free. Somebody had a great question. Are you still doing game night? And let's talk about that because, and I'm going to answer oh, it for yeah. you. You are, but you are not doing it at your house. You're doing it for free? via yeah. discord via yep. video chat and discord where we're streaming what were we streaming the other night a jackbox yep jackbox you could be there with your friends your family can show up if you have a webcam if you have a computer you can stream this stuff right off of your computer for free and you know what we had just as many laughs as game night as when yeah, like when did. i was there for you know so there's there's definitely ways to connect there is no excuse right here in 2020 that's me pushing up against the fake glass of, of, of what you're doing here that you it is the best time to be on lockdown because you have this back in the day you would lose your mind as soon as your candle burned out or whatever happened back to they have books back then i'm sure they did and, <laughs> and uh, i'm just kidding guys um but nowadays like look we have all this stuff we literally can sit here and connect with anybody we want to yeah. and still be socially distant so get discord get your families on board there's some other app too that's a video chat like drawing zoom. game app zoom yeah you get, get oh. that those are all free things that you could right. do to have them a movie night you know you could have you could you could do stuff like that so yeah. i i think that you you could find a way to combat this as long as you just try not to lose your mind go outside for a little bit in between dantix breaks i'd walk outside and just feel the fresh air and stuff like that but yeah just, I've been, uh, i have been going outside a lot like especially with the dogs i just go walk around the backyard and like just try to be outside and you know taking them for walks around the neighborhood and stuff like that like i've been still trying to do things like that when it's been warm enough and we don't have 45 mile an hour winds but <laughs> but but we've been trying to do that type of normal stuff. Somebody asked if we streamed it. We don't We don't stream Saturday night game night because it's what we call um, off-camera adult time. This is like, <laughs> yeah, there's still a little bit of us that's still, that's yeah, still yeah. ours and not your guys's. Yeah. But to be honest, it is pretty much just like any other game night that we do stream or that we do show. Like, we're not that different. I don't pull off a mask and turn into an alien. We're still the same. <laughs> but um, like I was saying, it was so much fun just to play that one night without having to be on like we could just we could just be our, our ourselves it sucks it sucks that you do dantix on saturday night because we're, we we were gonna do it. i forgot that yesterday was saturday until like halfway through the day but i said that i'm like dang it we need to pick a different night so we might shoot for friday night this night this week for game night mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and somebody asked how you do it you just look up a tutorial on how to discord it's so easy you start a new server it's free you just go into the video or you just go into like the audio chat and it'll say like like video and you just click video and it'll pop up for everybody and it's yep. really super simple if you have a little bit of computer knowledge if you were able to find us here doing this you could find it just go right up there yeah. to the youtube little little up there and just type in like how to video stream on discord it's one button it's resource minimum get on yeah get it's on, really easy get on chat with your friends get on chat with your family Mueller had a good point the other day she's like oh gotta go family family jam night and they were all were on their skypes doing their band playing there's ways around it to try to get to the fact that this is not the new normal as much as we say this right. is the new normal, at some point, or if it is the new normal, then we'll get used to it. Right, right. 
Yes. So yeah. So do stuff. Do fun stuff like that. Search free free quarantine items. And like, there's Photoshop classes that are free. There's there's all these classes and all these things that everybody's given away. There's so many board games on your phone now that you can play like online with other people. You can get Catan Universe on your phone and you can either play with your friends that have Catan or you can play Catan with other people online. You can also get it on the Switch. Mm -hmm. Dan, you can get it on the Switch. Dan, Steve, we should play Catan. I'm just saying. Um, And then there's like, what? there was a couple other ones. There was uh, Cards Against Humanity, Apples to Apples or whatever it is. There's a couple of those games on there. And, you know, some of them are free. Some of them are like three or four bucks. But if you just get a couple of your friends together and they have it, you can just jump on a voice chat and play those games from the comfort of your own home and still be playing together which is nice i mean we do the mario kart stuff and things like that mm-hmm. yep if you have a switch we, so. play, we play the switch you know we play mario kart and stuff so for me nothing's changed as far as the entertainment factor because i have to connect to you through you through this for you right. that actually has physical people over which was one of the most high it was one of the best things in my life like you had all your friends that you've known since elementary school you're like a movie and all you guys came over and everybody was great everybody was so quick-witted it was so much fun how are you, how is it doing it online now? Does it, is it really that much difference? It's, it, it is different, you know, cause you, you know, in between, we don't get to play the same games cause we're doing, well, we were doing Jackbox before on the TV downstairs, but you know, we're doing Jackbox and we're still doing Mario Kart. Um, we haven't yet set up um, Catan, but the plan is to do a tabletop simulator through Steam and do Catan. So that we'll be able to do that again. But it's, it's different because like, you know, Memphis or Kira's best friend Lana isn't here, so Lana's not running around. The dogs aren't all running around like crazy. We're not hanging out in the basement. The pool table's not going. You know, it's not. There's that aspect. Eric's not bringing over some random weird flavored beer for everybody to try. Like it's just like it's there's that, but at the same time, the fun, the jokes, the normalcy of it is still kind of there. Like it felt right. We all laughed. We all had a good time. It still felt right. So. Mm. It's different, but it's still fun. It was, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. So don't do what I do a little bit where I still feel like I can't even go outside. Like I feel recluse. I feel like I'm trapped in this box for things like Crystal. Crystal might be losing her mind a little bit, but she's like Jim Johnson said, she's an introvert. She does not, this is, this is, you know, yeah, yep. Yeah, this is just There's like- There's one in the office over there. And, I don't think this has had any effect on Jamie. Yeah, Blake? Besides me, besides besides what I've been going through, like that's the me. hardest part for and, him. And we yeah. both know that Crystal and Jamie are the exact same people, and you and I are pretty much the exact same person. So you just right. have to find ways to to come to com- to combat it. Yeah, you, know? you, yep, you do, you do. Um, so yeah, so it just depends on what kind you know what kind of person you are. Megan says, "Hi guys, sorry I'm super late. Hi, hi. Um, did you get Animal Crossing yet? No, Animal Crossing. <laughs> I know. Uh, you know, and uh, who said? Oh, Trish said. Um, what did she say? Oh, back here. Um, she went through a. She went through. A, I went through a week without power when we were hit by a hurricane many years ago. It's definitely nice to have power and internet. Though the situation makes it much more bearable. Yes, one time in a vlog we had no power for 24 hours or 48 hours while there was they were doing some maintenance out there. Whew. I don't know which died quicker, me or the stuff in my refrigerator. <laughs> it was really really hard so we should be thank you know we are you know it, it is a good time to be alive during this you know controversial time because we have that we have that right 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 yes i definitely agree mm-hmm. yeah so there's plenty of no jenga stuff on you're there. right steve no jenga no no jenga here let's let's play asmr tell me whether this is dusani or this is beer because it could be <laughs> it, could, it could be either i'm surprised you don't have a truly it's downstairs. I know I need a mini fridge up here because I'm lazy. <laughs> you do need a mini fridge. I'm looking on Famebit for a mini fridge. That's our next thing. Know, it's, right? it's, uh, yeah, you can get Uno, the card game. You can do the play. You can play Uno with your family on via webcam. Just aim it straight down, oh, yeah. and you could play. So many things you could do. You guys are more technologically capable and have more technology in this little thing then you know this thing will make you a video this thing will edit a video this thing will live stream this thing will be your webcam this thing can do so much stuff this is the one thing in computer school when i went to computer college back in the day that nobody predicted we did so much computer theory about computers and where they would be in 20 years and stuff like that nobody guessed this beautiful thing right here you could do a lot with this thing for free people so there is not no excuse but there is a lot of avenues to distract yourself from the stuff my second advice stay the heck 
off the internet stay away from the news stay away from the articles nothing's gonna change nothing's gonna be told that it's getting better for at least until the middle of next month put it all away like i've done it there's this really cool feature on facebook and it's called unfollow so you don't have to unfriend the people you can just unfollow (gasps) them and same thing with like some of the news the news sites and stuff you can just unfollow them or hide and you it's like hide for 30 days okay i'll hide for 30 days that is such good advice once you kind of go through that fluff then when you get on your facebook you're seeing the things you want to see like even today like felt like when i got on facebook i was seeing my friends kids that had their easter baskets my friends dogs that were dressed up for easter like i felt like today when i got on facebook this morning it was everything i was hoping to see right so but it's taken me a couple of days to kind of go through and like i'm gonna write this down because i have this friend named jess that just can't stay the heck off of the internet and the news reports (laughs) so i'm gonna like i'm gonna tell her this good news (laughs) but you're right at some point you reach this critical mass and like yeah. you did, you had to just cut it off. Yeah, yeah. I actually was talking to um, Jamie's sister, my sis- my sister in law. So Jamie's sister uh, earlier today, when I was you know telling her Happy Easter and all that stuff, we were talking about how strange everything was and how much we missed each other and blah 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 blah. And she said that she goes, I she goes, my anxiety was so high. She's like, I had to take every news app off of my phone. She's like, I'm not. I and she said the same thing. She's like, I've had to hide everything. And I'm like, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, but. Mm-hmm. Once you kind of get that away, you do. You feel you feel a lot better. The we're weight a, doesn't sponges. feel so heavy. Like you yeah. still know what's happening, but you don't have to like directly know what's happening. I, I we're we're sponges, so it's all just soaks up. So you can't take the weight of everything that's going on. Um, Liz says I play Farmville too. Oh my gosh, are, did you just take a time machine from the past to get here? And I watch YouTube to relax. Yes, just there's so many calming sites. There's so many things that aren't focused on i know we're talking about it now but we try to not be focused on it we try to bring the happy we try to bring the forget pill for a little bit you know yeah right yeah um i've done a few hide for 30 days and then whoever came up with that at the board meeting of like sure we can have the hide button but we can give them a chance later 30 days because i had to hide some people in my town a little bit um because it was just getting too much but i don't dislike them so like we could be friends again later yeah you know Yes. So try to be kind to people. Try not to like, it's just like politics or religion. This, this thing where people got such polarizing views that, that people are really fighting over each other for this. Yeah. Yeah. We should it. Jess and I, like I said, we, we don't see eye to eye on any of this stuff and it don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter because it ain't our problem. (laughs) It is just opinions, people. It's just opinions. Right. Would you call me a sheep the other day? You know what, you know what opinion, you know what opinions are like, right? Um, um, <laughs> what's the other thing besides buttholes? What was it? Uh, hand grenades and horseshoes. No, wait, that's tax. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. What, 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 what do I know? I'm sitting here hanging out with a bunch of next week's standing questions. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, what, uh, my anxiety can't do it. Brianna, you can. Yeah. Just, just, uh, just do it. <laughs> But we all say that, but we all handle things different. So what makes sense to my head doesn't make sense to your head and stuff like that. So, you know, I I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Right. Yes. Oh, Dai's here. Hi, Dai. Congratulations on 2,000 subscribers. Happy Easter. On the road, your next goal is to pass me up. I think I have like 2,600 subscribers. Um, Your your next goal is your next goal is to blow me by. I so remember we talked about it being the year of the Dai. Yeah. You know, I know this is throwing a wrench into everything, but not really. Right. Do you know? Let's talk about let's talk about something real quick. Uh, just uh, before we get out of here, um, do you notice? And this is kind of vain. Do you notice a, a spike in viewership because people are home right now? It's hard for me to tell if that's what it is or if it's because Big content. <laughs> like, right? Like, I have noticed an increase. Well, first there was a decrease. Like when everything first started happening, there was a drop and then now everything's going back up again. So for me, it's hard for me to tell if my viewership has increased because more people are home or if my viewership has increased because I'm learning so much from the class I'm taking or if it's increased because I'm actually trying to make my content better than it was. It's it's hard for me to tell, but I have noticed an increase. So maybe that's what it's for. Which brings, what it's the, from. which brings me to the next thing real quick. Now's the time if you ever wanted to create something to create something. You have the time on your hands. You have everything you need right here or whatever you're watching it on. Create. TikTok. TikTok. TikTok is the future. 
Gary V said it. Jess V said it. Um, who's the guy that looks like the dad from Dinosaurs? Uh, um, uh, Daryl said it. Go do some TikTok, TikTok. stuff. Go do some. Go have I am some fun. telling you. Did you see Matt Shep had a TikTok that now has like twenty five hundred views? That guy is TikToking multiple times a day, and yep. dude, these these things don't just create themselves. Like there was no. some production value. Did you see my favorite one so far? Is him at the laundromat the other day? That's the one. And he's that's dancing the one at the laundromat, and his off. eyes and just like is this bugging you as much as this bugging me? But he has to go and he has to deal with it, and he's just as freaked out as everybody yep. else. But what are you I gonna do? It. What are you gonna do? You gonna crawl into the washing machine and die, or are you gonna express? the fact that we're all going through this together which is kind of what we try to do here a little bit like right right sure we bring the fun yay but i'm still at home in california in los angeles where it's crazy but that tiktok was beautiful he's so yeah honest yeah his stuff's so honest authentic yeah it's the word we were talking about before authenticity works when you can be an authentic person it works better than when you're when you try to be something you're not just be you. I know it sounds so cliche. And I know people, especially like when you're younger and people are like, just be yourself. When you're younger and you hear that, you're like, that doesn't work. It does. It really does. Just be you. Be who you, you are. That be yourself. Be authentic. It's a lot easier to be yourself than to try to be something that you're not. And I am guilty of that even at 41 years old. So the sooner you can find yourself, the, the better. Look at Jim Johnston. Making yes. all these food videos and stuff. It doesn't matter if yep. you get a million views or one view. It doesn't matter. You're out there creating and doing something that maybe you wouldn't yep. do if 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 you had to be out there. So now's the chance to get it off the ground. How long does it take to grow a channel? It don't. It, it all depends. And it don't. Don't worry. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. Suck and suck and suck and suck. My channel sucked. There's so many sucks things that I've done. The podcast sucked in the beginning compared yep. to what it is now just you just learn it's like a sport or anything else a video game yep. that you suck at you know you play smash brothers and you suck at that some game for people, six months till you're good some people get lucky some people will create and it'll just hit it's just either the timing is right or their personality is just right or they catch a trending topic that starts trending at the same time they started creating and they take yes, off definitely. some people take longer i've been creating for over 10 years i still don't have a million subscribers on the channel that i've had for over 10 years does that mean that i'm less successful than the person who has 3 million subscribers in less than a year not at all Frustra- that's not what that means at all or not there's people that have watched you yep. do what you've done and have triple double triple of what you have yeah, yeah. Sure, you can yep. get mad at it, and sure, we're behind the scenes like, oh man, but good, good. And who but knows? But at the same what time, it's did. exciting. It's, it's exciting. exciting to see that. It's exciting to see that you know we inspired somebody to be able to do that, and then they were able to make their dream into a reality. Yes. And like that and is then the just, people that get it from them, like, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. Because yep. I do think Jim yep. Johnson said that like we our content inspired him to to do stuff because right. and, and it's so easy. Right. It's so it's so it easy. So yeah, do that. You get uncomfortable there. You say? can't you can't hang on a live stream as long as I can. I just had to shift in my chair. How do but you like this that isn't thing? locked. Oh my gosh, this, did you did you steal it from Vin Diesel's car? My chair? Oh my gosh, look how aggressive that is. Oh. is I didn't it, it's got this armrest that slides and it's not locked. So when I leaned on it it slid. Oops. What is uh, what does Stephanie say? The problem with YouTube is that it's very much a niche market. Not true. It makes it very hard once that niche is new, no longer popular or you've burnt out. Not true. That's you know not what? true. I don't, but I don't, I don't, I, I, I can understand what she's saying, but that has nothing to do with what you, creating stuff. When we started creating, there was no pennies. Remember when they were like, hey, YouTube's going to start giving you pennies for ads. Like, yep. really? What is this? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about yeah. it. Don't worry about it. And yes, it's probably not true since Jess is. But that, knows. that is the thing. It's not. It's it's so YouTube. YouTube is an ever changing platform, like any other platform. And anybody out there that's actually thinking about starting a YouTube channel or has a YouTube channel, and they think, because I go through the same things. How many times have I made a video and my videos don't get views? And the first thing I want to do is blame blame YouTube and blame the algorithm. It's not the algorithm. It's not. Uh, it's so much easier to put the blame on somebody else and be like, well, my videos don't do well because, you know, it's it's not the right niche or uh, YouTube doesn't support my niche or because, you know, it, YouTube's not putting my video out there to people. That's right. not it. It's just not. It's the reality of it is it's like I'm going to use me as an example. It's me. It's what I'm doing. It's what I'm doing wrong. It's what 
you can't on YouTube, you have to, it's like anything in life. You can't do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and expect the results to be the same. You have to change. You have to change with the times. You have to change with the platform. You have to change with what's going on. And does that mean that you have to make the same content that everybody else is making and be Jake Paul? That's not what that means at all. It just means that you have to keep getting better. If it's something that you want it to be more than a hobby, you need to keep making it better. Otherwise, it's just going to be a hobby. Just start out with it being a hobby. Don't go in there with with, with it. You know, oh, like, you should always start out with it just being a hobby. Just you let should, it be a hobby. and even now, I don't. I do this because I love it. If there was, if tomorrow YouTube decided to say, you know what, we're not paying you to do this anymore, I'm ninety nine percent sure I would still keep making videos because I I like it. I enjoy it. It's it's it is my hobby. Yes, it's my company. Yes, it's my life. Yes, it's what I do. But I still love it. And that's why I keep doing it. Abdul uh, Johnson said, the problem with YouTube is Google's greediness and selling out independent creators for corporate ones. Yes, you're right with what you say a little bit, but dude, you have no idea. We go to Vid Summit, we go to all these places. You have no idea what it's like to go to YouTube war. It's just, it is, it, you would lose your mind, bro. You would lose your mind. <laughs> but yes, as, as, as mainstream flipped off the internet wouldn't even count dvr as as metrics they hated all of us we could do what we want and now they see the value in it and now it's slowly taking over yes we have been backed into a corner yes and yes it is harder to make it but at the same time if you can make it you'll get you'll you'll rocket to the rocket to the top and you will find your audience look what we found here look what we found here look how many problems we've had in the chat today zero right you know right. you will find right. your people so you keep making your cooking videos you keep making your stuff and you will find your people and and once you get surrounded in this bubble by enough of the people that share the ideas with you it doesn't matter anymore i would trade yep. all the money in the world you could take all the super chat and pennies back for good audience and good engagement so just yep. go and just have fun and right now you have no choice you're stuck inside make a video and if you do tag us in it Cause we'll watch it. I'll, oh, I'll yeah. watch your guys' stuff. I watch Jim Johnson stuff. I'll watch Die stuff. We go and we watch the stuff. Look what Die. Look at Die. Like she's a person too. Look at Steve. Steve hit 100 subscribers the other day on on YouTube. Sure, he's got 50k on on TikTok. He hit 100 the other day that we pushed for, and yep. and and his excitement at 100 just so he could get his name on YouTube was beautiful. Like that was a victory to me. That was a yep. victory. The same way we share revenue and stuff of like, oh my gosh, like we're doing the things. So yeah. small victories. Don't go in there thinking you're going to be famous. But we all feel that. I sure I want to be famous. When I signed with full screen, <laughs> they hate you full screen. <laughs> like Chris was laughing over there. You still owe me 84 dollars. Mr. Screen, do you still you still owe me a bunch of money? But um, like I was like, wait, this is gonna rocket me to the top, and it didn't do anything, right? So yeah, I I remember even when I signed with a network and they made all those promises, and it was the same thing. It was like you know, it just it's you know, it, it, YouTube is a beast. Every social media platform is a beast, and you can't start it. You can't. Now there are people that do it, but you shouldn't start it hoping to be something huge. You should start it doing what you love because if you, if it's something you are truly passionate about and something that you love and enjoy doing, you won't get burnt out. You know, yeah, there's going to be days where you don't want to do something, but that's not burnout. That's normal. That's like having a normal job and loving your job and then being like, I don't want to go to work today. That's normal. That's not burnout you don't burn out on things that you actually love your content can change what you're doing can change the way you're filming can change that doesn't mean you're burnt out if you still have that core passion for the thing you're creating you'll always find a way to make it work yes and and becky said videos aren't my theme but i do cosplay and now since i'm at home working i can and and working to improve them make a cosplay instagram take pictures of your cosplay it doesn't matter what level you're at you will grab somebody joel the geek's a perfect example of watching him rise up and watching how great his stuff is going and watching his niche and watching how he's got his little fort thing with this stuff and seeing his confidence change into yeah. what he is and he's got i think he's got more than he has got more than what i have over 10 years of doing stuff because he loves what he does and doesn't in my opinion care about what anybody has to say about his opinions and people yep. love him so yeah you know whether your cosplay is great or it sucks put it out there because it's it's the thing and you will attract people just like you 
You'll and find an audience. Good. It feels good. It does. It feels good to have all the validation. Everybody wants to be heard. That is one thing everybody in the world has in common. They all want to be heard. So just yep. find a niche. Don't compare yourself to Casey Neistat. We oh, that guy. I haven't seen him in a minute. <laughs> I didn't mean to make that face. But and you know that's that's the truth though. Like you can even you can find people that you enjoy and you can find channels that you like and you want to be like them. You don't want to copy them. You want to. Just you may want to do what they're doing, but you just have to find a way to make it your own. You have to find a way to make your personality shine through. So there can be people that you look up to and things that you want to do. Like, look how many Casey Neistat copycats came out. Where are they now? A lot of them didn't survive. But what because did that turn into? Maybe, saw... maybe he felt this, and and then you find your niche, like Joel did with this fourth thing. Like, yes, the it's the thing that could lead to the thing. Yep, exactly. But you're right. Exactly. There was a lot of Casey Neistat's that fell off the map, but there was some yep. that didn't. Look at Peter McKinnon. Yep, exactly. Where did he come yep. from? Because at one point he was a you and a me. Yep. And a you guys in the chat. And then, and then he was a keynote <sighs> speaker at Vid Summit. Mm hmm. Yes. Which was way better than Casey Neistat's. Look at Sean Duras. Sean Duras is a really good example of go of starting a YouTube channel, doing what you want to do, having a passion, and then learning that maybe what you thought your videos were supposed to be about isn't actually what they were about. Mm -hmm. So when Sean started out, he wanted to be that that cool guy with the skateboard and he owns a company and he wanted to just, you know, every day is the best day ever. But when you started to look at his content, he got to about a million subscribers and his vlog channel just plateaued. He was getting like 17 to 25,000 views a video with a million subscriber base. It just wasn't working out. But then when you would sort his videos and you would look at his most popular content, you could clearly see kids, his kids, his kids, his kids, his kids, his kids. Sean Duras wasn't a I'm a cool guy channel. Sean Duras was a family vlog channel. He just didn't know that that's what he was. So he started to transform his content, not to not the best day ever. He still does the best day ever, but now it's the best day ever where he's sharing more of his life with his children than he was just himself. And he's blown up. He's got over 2 million subscribers now. He's got videos that are just taking off. And all it was was it's not that he isn't doing what he wanted to do in the first place. He just learned over time that this is more in line with what I need to be doing. And it's still what I want to do. Yes. So he yes. made those small tweaks. What do we talk about? Small tweaks small changes over time and now his channel's growing again and his videos are doing amazing and you know and sean i don't know how many of you guys watch sean Durst, but sean Durst owns multiple companies he's he's a businessman he has a lot of companies space station integrations he owns space station gaming he owns a professional i think he owns a couple of professional um gaming teams yes, now right, right. like he does a lot of things so you know he's somebody same thing he started at zero where everybody else did and look at where he is now Yes, all uh, learning along the way. Where is this going to take me? And first of all, Sean Duras, yes, he is just as awesome in person, hanging around yes. him, like 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 when the cameras are off, as he is on screen. Second, yep. he started out as a person on Snapchat that was drawing stuff. He didn't even yep. do any of this stuff, and he was selling jewelry online. Yep. Uh, when we went and keynoted or listened to him talk, he everything that he's doing now was not even discussed in what we went and wa watched him do. He was busy doing the YouTube thing right when he was hitting that million plateau. He was hanging out with who, like Casey Neistat and stuff like yep. that. Um, and and none of the stuff that he was doing was the stuff that he's doing now. Like you said, he's got the gaming stuff. He's got the family stuff going on. So it's the things that lead to the to things, the things. lead to things yep. that lead to the things. So yes, and and watch it evolve. So throw it out there, throw your cosplay out there, throw your food videos out there, and see where that that takes you. It's very hard to nail something the first time without letting it evolve. Yep. Yep. Yes. And also yep. make sure you're around really awesome people. You'll find stuff. So Dai and I, we know each other from way back in the day, and it's like a graduating class. There was like right. Dai, there was me, there was like uh, Austin and Jess. There was there was some people that you still keep in contact with that that you guys kind of all grow at the same rate and, and, and become become friends. Dai doesn't live anywhere close to me, but she's still right. from like my graduating class of like you two days. So right. yeah, you just find you'll find people, and these people will find you, and, and hashtags and stuff like that, and that's how you make your little circle. And then for, with that, boom! Look how we all lift each other up and promote each other's stuff. And you saw in the beginning right. of Dantics when I was going through milestones and things that just, just, just get it out there. Another thing that I see that I, I said last time too is all you guys in the chat. I pretty much have almost talk to everybody and dealt with everybody you guys should all find each other because you guys share similar things you guys are a lot of kind you guys just want to be entertained you guys want to have your own little space so if you make connections in the chat 
follow them follow people you everybody's just like you that if that that's circle themselves in the group because if they're not then they're booted out of here so we're all the same so follow everybody here and be friends with everybody here if you're in the cosplay follow her on called the cosplay stuff and support each other that's the only way you guys are going to make it especially being stuck indoors right now right exactly yep all right two hours and 39 minutes is that it 115 people are still in here hi everybody <laughs> happy happy sunday <laughs> now everybody's asking youtube questions I got nowhere to be. How do you learn to talk to people and have topics that you have in common? You just do. I have a spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet over here. Right. Go, I'm serious. Go to Mosley78, M O S L U Y 78 on YouTube. Open up that tab and go look at those videos and see how that just does not fly. You just evolve and learn. You think I had this voice back in the day? No, I learned like I learned. I learned. So just you know you you have to do that stuff yes all my old stuff just like it's so bad it's um, it's good we have spreadsheets we learn the first like i said the first part of the podcast sucked yes yeah. yeah. episodes were hard i can't i don't even want to like claim to those but that's what <laughs> that's what builds those pebbles to build the rocks to build the things you that you learn. are now you know i didn't wake up with this you know i didn't even have a mohawk back in the day in those videos you gotta learn somehow. You gotta learn. I'm just scared to put myself out there. You know, a lot of people have that same issue where they're just scared to put themselves out, themselves out there. And you know, there's a lot of different levels to that because you really do have to have thick skin to be able to do this. If you're going to read your comments, if you're if if you're gonna be reading and interacting in your comments, which you should be, you are gonna have to have thick skin because there are some pretty rotten, nasty, mean, horrible people out there, but you just have to remember that those pretty rotten, nasty, mean, horrible people are really just suffering on the inside and just, they just have, they have more issues than you could probably ever imagine. And that's why they have to get on the internet and lash out at other people. There's a block button. You just block them. I mean, that's, don't respond. Don't feed into the haters. You know, as soon as you feed the trolls, they just come back for more. So you just block them. So it can be hard to like put yourself out there if you're more of an, like for me, I, I, I have always liked attention. So it wasn't a big thing for me. Um, but I know for a lot of people it is, it's very hard to do. And, you know, it's sometimes you just have to do it and you're going to know, you're going to know pretty quick whether or not it's something you're going to enjoy. You might try it and you might find out after doing a few things that it's not something you want to do, that it's just not your thing. And that's okay. You can find another outlet. Yeah, that's, that's true. And even us, like there's times where like the stuff does get to us, you know? Oh yeah. You know, it yeah. doesn't matter how many pennies or how many subscribers or how many milestones. Yeah. There's been times where I'm just like, whew. You know that cuts to that cuts to the bone but i always try to think of it like this somebody insults me and then two seconds later they're on to something else but yep. then it sticks with me through the whole day but for them they don't even i bet they don't even remember what they said two minutes earlier whether they're on hating the next thing so right. just 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 remember that jim johnson said um bull dan nobody's just like me my mom told me they broke the mold when they made me yeah well if you if you hashtag your stuff break the mold you're gonna find all the other jim johnsons that are just like you breaking the mold so yes <laughs> you will find the people Oh, uh, look at Steve. Yes. I got yelled at for my thumbnail color. Yes, you did. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, here, here's some advice. No red. No <laughs> red. No red, sir. No red. Oh. Mean people like last night's trolls. Right. Mm. Yeah. Shake it off. You know what they're doing right now? Not worrying about the heck what I'm doing. Instead right? of me going like, oh my gosh. What a, uh, like they don't, they're on to the next thing. They're on to yep. the next thing. So just keep it like that. <laughs> on to the next thing. Everybody's got keyboard muscles. Yep, everybody's yep. got everybody's got keyboard muscles so you just you know uh, i'm in the nascar and storytelling yeah a lot of people watch nascar yeah being a nascar and yeah. storytelling and i can't oh, find yeah. anybody NASCAR's with the same huge. interest bs bs i had fox sports one on before here um they were uh they were playing replays of the old daytona 500 i think i don't know i have like a dale earnhardt little statue over here come on people are into that that's bad that's a bad excuse my friend like there's there's somebody for everybody out there you know yeah there's so many nascar fans out there right yeah right oh yeah if you make stuff about nascar they will find you this they sure will yep ah as i step down off of my ah. <laughs> Dang, this is the first thing i own that's got like hydraulics my car doesn't even do that oh my poor jeep i had to pull that thing out and like drive it around the block and that thing sat there for like two weeks my brakes when was that was that when i went to meyer or was it yesterday i got fast food it was yesterday um my brakes on my jeep were sticky 
Like yeah, when just... I went to drive, I'm like, why aren't my oh oh because my brakes are sticky. Snow over for you guys? Um, I don't know. So they were supposed to get nine to twenty four inches north of us, and I guess we were supposed to get some tonight, but uh, it looks like rain. So uh, we we had we had full on rain for. We had full on rain for like a week, and then let me see. Let me see where we're at now. Today was like in the seventies, and yesterday was in the seventies. I was out there doing some yard work for a little bit before we were doing this, and it was beautiful out there. It felt good just to breathe the fresh air. Um, it looks like. Oh, oh, oh the Weather Channel app has really turned to like, like really, it really turned into pay to play. Right. Um, let's see. How do I get five day? So what are you looking at for the rest of your week? Uh, forties. Pretty how much. Do I, how do I how do I see that? Um, yeah, Monday sixty nine, Tuesday sixty seven, Wednesday seventy five, Thursday seventy one, Friday sixty one. So I think we're all pretty much done with like the crummy weather out here. So it's about to get to the beautiful weather time. Yep. Nope. Forties. Forty six. Forty seven. Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Forty three. Forty six. Yep. Forties. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Not. Not us. I'm thinking that I need to like get to a Home Depot and start getting stuff to redo the swamp cooler before I get super locked down. And it's not. Is it? Yeah. You better because it's not essential here. It's not essential here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So because I can't be stuck with uh, that, I'll fry and my poor hair will go back. Yeah. Can we? Can we get it to stay like that? No. no. <laughs> if I had an right. acme sound, that's what it would be. <laughs> right. Uh, do you want to wrap this up? Sure, that's fine. Sure, there's still so many people in here. I feel bad. All right, let's. Uh... Well, now you got to tell everybody to go subscribe to your other channel so they can all yeah. see you guys on on Saturday. Yes. Uh, no, it... I have not. Somebody asked about PetCon Chicago. I actually emailed them today to find out uh, if there's any updates on it. As of right now, when it's is, not canceled. When is it supposed to be? June twentieth. Nah. Uh. Uh. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I have a feeling it's going to get canceled, but as of right now. It's still, they still have it as it's going on. Uh, Aiden says, hey, from Ann Arbor. That's in Michigan. I know that's in Michigan. It is. I don't know if that's Ann Arbor's by the harbor or not, but <laughs> I don't know where on, the, where on the hand it is. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram at RFS Dan, I am still following everybody back lately. And it's been really fun because I've been getting to see, I, you know what? I should know better, but there's so many people that I've interacted with on Dantix and stuff that have huskies because that's your, that's right. your vertical. There you go. Just that's you right. have that, and so does everybody else. So it's been cute to see all the different, all the different phoenixes and all the different Memphises and all the different Lokis that everybody has because right. they're all you know because you guys are all my buds. So everything's a derivative of, of of one of those. There was there was a somebody walking a husky across the street. And I'm like that looks just like Phoenix. Like everybody's <laughs> just you know. Party right. my life so far with the ten dollars super chat. Ah, hey, that's a good example with her. Thank you. Um, she actually commented on our Patreon, which we do have a Patreon, and we were able to read um and discuss her topic, which took a quarter of the episode. So I do appreciate yeah. that, and I we do appreciate the support definitely. Yes, we yes. really do. Yes, Dan takes here on RFS Dan. Um, there's there's a little link right here on the side. Uh, I don't know which way I'm facing here that you can you can you can click on to go find us. Obviously, you guys know Jess. I don't think there's anybody in here that does not follow you. <laughs> Definitely not. You can Definitely blame not. me. No, you need a husky, Dan. You know, like here's the deal. I, I okay. Yes, I do. Absolutely not because I do not have the means to take care of that. I am halfway right. need to be leashed myself. <laughs> so but yes i yes i i i i use rizzo a lot as a soft thing that i mush from like when i hang out with like memphis right i mean whenever memphis comes and hangs out i just want to like nap nap on her so she's napping right there so hmm. um i would like that only because it's a change but there is no way in my current state that i could do anything with the husky can i actually but i would i used to want i used to want a labrador I you know I, I would want a lab I think I wanted a black lab for a long time but I would probably obviously get a husky but then you know I'm around that so like why would I not want to you know why would I not I can uh I can make you bigger watch this I can like give you more real estate there look at that wonk I found them right there oh they both have asleep oh they're so soft. In in pretty much the exact same position as well. Kira's so like, still lean. Will she turn? See how see how uh, Memphis is all beer bellied and like big. Will Kira eventually fill out like that? I don't know. I was turning. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Kira's about done growing as well. That's probably about like as tall as she's gonna get. She shouldn't really get much taller. That's about her size. But yeah, she'll over the years she'll fill out. By the time she's about three, she'll fill out a little bit more like Memphis. What's on her back paw like leg there above the elbow? Is that an elbow? Do they have elbows? Yeah, yeah. Like what up up there? Is it's like brown? What is that? Yeah, that's just her fur. Oh wow, she so she does have bit color. Of, she has a little bit of brown fur on her. Memphis has it too. I don't know if I can tip the camera down far enough to see it, if you can actually see it. But Memphis has it as well. Just a little bit of brown. If oh. Kira was rolled over, you could see that the back of her fur, her black fur, looks uh, kind of red. Mm-hmm. So, well, I guess bit. I can show my shelf. Oh, it's there. coming along great. Your little pony shelf, all your yeah. pop bigs from the things that you yeah. love. What's that? What's that? Is that Pickle Rick in the corner? What's that green thing up there in the top left? That's Memphis's um, oh, yes. birthday balloon. Oh, seven. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's Memphis's birthday balloon. Oh, my pretty gosh. Me- pretty Memphis. Mm, Stephanie yeah. with a super chat, 199 for the heart. Thank you so much. You always show up every week. I appreciate your support since it's like noon or one o'clock on Monday there. Uh, Chase, too. You guys are always amazing. Keep it up. Thanks, buddy. We are definitely glad to have you in our circle. Oh, let me take it back, back without breaking it. Yeah. <laughs> Here I'll put I'll put you back. There's some movie it. magic there. And if you guys want to do live stream stuff, all this software, OBS software, this is all free. This is all free stuff here. So you guys could use that. Uh, Meals with a five dollar super chat. You have a whole catalog of content to help you learn how to be a husky parent. Yes, I do. <laughs> but I also know that being a good husky parent means that you need to have space and room and stuff to be able to be a good husky parent. Oh yeah, and speaking of, I have those boxes and all of those things. Thank you to Mueller Husky because um, I I messaged her and was like. I need organization help. <laughs> that's where I got all my that's where I got all my spreadsheets from. I have the yeah. spreadsheet that shows my days of the week, it shows my episode numbers all the way out. It shows stuff of my outro that gets put on all of them. It shows the topics, it shows the main things, it shows the announcements and stuff like that. That's how I have to stay organized because of her. So, yes, definitely you got to like zip that up and sell that or something like that because definitely right? there's some people that need organization skills like me. And so far, it's been really helping me get stuff out of my brain on the paper. Now, when I think of an idea, I run, I type it in, boom, it's there, and I can come back to it later. Right, and right. And I do, I, do, I do like that. There's some stuff that like I just wouldn't think about on my own, which makes me different than you, because we're all right. different people. So, yes. But, yes, as soon as I can get that checklist checked off, and it, it, okay, wait, not as soon. If there was a time where I could checklist off all the appropriate things you need to properly own a dog, not like how my parents did back in the day when it just lived in the backyard, then, yes, maybe so. Right. Maybe right. so. Yes. Yes, so thank you for that. That really, that really does help. Oh no, back to reality. Oh man. <laughs> We're like <sighs> All right. All right. All right. It's We're only 10:53 super... here. Oh, you have no you'll stay up till 3 in the morning. Sarah Green with the super chat. Thanks with the yeah, hearts. We appreciate uh we appreciate you hanging out for 2 hours and 52 minutes. That is that is long. That's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> the Marie Kong condo of dogs. <laughs> uh. No, no, no. Okay. Should we wrap this up? Yeah, we okay, can. Okay, okay. I guess I should do an outro. Yeah, because I guess, because how many hours until I talk to you again? Like, what, 12? Shoot, yes, yes. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for sticking around. And yes, I need to now finish writing up with this spreadsheet of the script for tomorrow, CC Mouse Podcast, because I got done talking for four and a half hours on Friday or Saturday, then three hours today. And then we're going to do two hours in the morning plus the hour that you and I are going to BS about stuff before we hit, before yep. we hit live. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That'll do it for this week's episode of the CC Mouse Podcast. Listen to us every Wednesday on your favorite music app. Interact with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Podbean at CC Mouse Podcast. Rip our merch at ccmousepodcast.shop. Stay inside. We'll give you a 25% off discount code. And we'll see you guys next time on the Funcast here. Same mouse time, same mouse podcast. Oh, Funcast. I forgot. It's a Funcast now. That's my <laughs> idea. <laughs> All right. See you guys next week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go out with a... <laughs> great show guys yes thanks for hanging out we'll see you guys next time bye we did it